Good morning, good morning. How are you all this morning? Oh my word, we have had the most manic morning. Um, just keeping our eye on the website as I knew that this would happen. I'll tell you all about the Highland Cow Kit, but make the most of those because we have waited so long to get them in. I knew I just had to tell you straight away because it's really, really busy. Top of the world, Highland Cow. But hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's show. Uh, my name's Vicky with you until uh, 12 o'clock today. We've got my favourite Delphine Brooks here with us today and she's got two amazing projects. She's doing a beautiful quilt coming up at nine o'clock and then her most popular, and I'd actually endeavour to say one of the most popular kits we've ever had back with the pattern on its own for the first time as well today. So today is gonna to be manic. Open your orders nice and early with today's early bird. So something we all need as sewers, now across all crafts, whether you be a bag maker, whether you be a dressmaker, whether you be um, a hand sewer, we all need thread. Uh, now, of course, when you're starting on your sewing journey, well, I certainly, didn't necessarily think too much about the quality of thread that I was using. And it really, really makes a difference. Uh, I don't know whether if anybody, when they started out, did use a cheap, dusty thread that would um, snap or um, that would really leave a lot of lint build up in your machine or just wasn't that quality that you expected. The great thing about having a brand like Guterman is that you've got that reputation. They are one of the best in the business. They produce absolutely high quality, outstanding quality polyester thread, which is super duper strong, going to be great for all types of sewing. This is like what we call our sew all thread. There are different thread weights available. And in fact, actually, I think that we've got some uh, later on in the show, but these are your 50 weights. Now that means that you can use this in your machine. You can use this in your bobbin. You can use this for hand sewing. If you want to have a go at some applique, some of these colours are going to stand out beautifully. What I love is that if you're doing piecing and you really want to blend that fabric to your thread, you want it to be seamless, then you've got lots of great colours that are going to look brilliant for that. But equally, if you really want it to stand out with applique or free motion embroidery, if you're doing any quilting, then this is also going to look absolutely beautiful and you, you've got those really piercing colours. Blues, if Joe were here, you know what he'd be saying. Sorry, Paul, but um, I am mentioning Joe, and he gets very jealous. He says it's the world's favourite colour. Yeah, Paul's, Paul's a green, he's correct. It is the world's po most popular colour. And look at all of these different shades of blue. You've got five different shades of blue and five different shades of gorgeous greens, which are lovely for autumn. Great for Christmas as well. I'm instantly just looking at beautiful the beautiful uh, wreath panel that comes free with the offer that we're doing on the machine and you've got some great greens that are going to lovely with that um also the highland cow even how lovely would this look with your blues as well 100 meters on each ball right let's do the maths because this is your early bird special which basically means Get to open your order nice and early. You get a really nice saving to start the show. Guterman threads generally um, elsewhere are 172 to pound a spool, I've found. Whereas here, what price per spool are we? 129 a spool. <laughs> uh, pardon the pun, but we are spoiling you today. £12.99 for your sew all thread, assorted colours. Um, this is, remember, all 100 metres on each spool for £12.99. Oh, see, this great green looks amazing. Can you see it with our designs, the Highland Cow and the Unicorn? Uh, in fact, Delphine's going to be using this colour for her uh, in, uh, free motion which looks gorgeous. Even this one next to it, that jadey sort of teal and this really deep peacock. How lovely are those? If you really want to do some stand out sewing, if you want to do some applique or quilting where the colours really pop, they're going to look amazing, aren't they? Or for Christmas makes, you've got those lovely deep greens as well. See, it's always good to be able to match up. I know that uh, quite a lot of the time I might have a blue uh, in my, uh, in my thread box but then I think actually it's not quite the blue that I want if you're doing dressmaking as well absolutely you can use this if you're doing bag making it's really lovely and strong benefits of having polyester thread is it is very very strong you're not going to get that lint build up in your machine uh, it's if you're doing lots of chain piecing as well especially it's going to last you ages 100 meters on each spool for £12.99 always an essential and this is what I love when we do early bird specials like this 
something that's for everyone. Sometimes we do more dressmaking with early birds, sometimes more quilting or bag making, whereas this, everyone needs thread. And the great thing is, is that this is your sew all weight, 50 weight for £12.99. Check out as soon as you can. I'll keep you updated on stock. It's not very often that we reduce the price on the Gooseman threads as they are of course, extremely affordable anyway. I mean, this alert is a value pack, it says anyway. So to drop the price to take it to less than 130 a spool is fantastic. Um, it's going to be a brilliant day. That just sets up the tone for the day because we've got discounts. We've got really, really popular kits back in stock. We've got a brand new um, quilt pattern from Annie's Quilting. We've got some beautiful books to get us inspired. We've also got the most incredible deal going on right now on the 550 Elna machine, which, um, I, I mean, this machine is, is one that you've seen probably a lot on air, actually. Since we've moved into our new studio, it's been on virtually every single day, and that isn't through our choice, that's through guest designer's choice. We've got an array of machines here, and the first question when our guest designer comes in, we say, what machine are you comfortable using? What would you like to use? And obviously, every guest designer at home has probably got you know, different brands, different machines, different setups, and you get used to that. So a lot of guest designers who come in say, I love the 550 because I know exactly what I'm gonna get. It's a robust machine. It's still gonna be able to do all of the sewing that I want to, to achieve, but it's simple. It's user friendly. It is going to be something that you can, of course, um, plug in, get sewing. Uh, and and it's, it's the proof's in the pudding. Over the last couple of weeks since we've been here in the, the, the new studio, we've been doing bag making, we've done quilting, we've done dressmaking, we've done cushions, and we've done all sorts of sewing. Uh, and it's managed absolutely brilliantly. In fact, there's been a couple of times where I've said, hang on would you need to put a walking foot on for this? And they've said, you know what, actually with the 550, it's managed absolutely fine. Uh, when you're talking about machines that are under 500 pounds, it is the most affordable machine that we currently stock. It's the most affordable machine. We have no other machines on our website at the moment that are less than 500 pounds. And there's a reason for that. Can you get more affordable machines? Absolutely, yes. You can. You can buy a machine for £100, you can buy a machine for £200, but the reason that we choose to bring you this Elna Fantastic 550 machine as our most affordable is because we want you to keep sewing remarkably. We want you to come back and buy the kits. We want you to come back and, and get involved. Whereas if you're looking at a machine that isn't going to give you the results, you're not going to enjoy sewing. So this is a machine I think that's really going to grow with you. A lady asked on the um, a, a, a lady asked on the uh, Facebook page yesterday, do I get an extension table with it? Because I can't see it in your freebies. You do, a standard with this machine. So ask yourself these questions. As I know, we all uh, you know, internet savvy and like to look online to see what's out there if you are looking at a machine that's around this price point ask yourself does it have the brand name like Elna this is a, a company that have been going for over 80 years they've got the, the name and in fact they come with a two-year warranty as well so you've got that covered um, does it have an extension table this one comes with an extension table uh, in fact I can show you exactly when you get it home I haven't even spoken about our goodies yet you get a free 55 pound worth of goodies but this is what comes in the box when you get it home so, in the box, you get some extra bobbins, which is brilliant. I know Jane will always say, use the correct bobbins for your machine, whether they be Janome or Elna, they're under the same umbrella. You get the extension table, which is so exciting. Anyone who wants to do any free motion embroidery, dressmaking, keep your extension table on. It will help, uh, of course, relieve pressure off the needle and tension. So that's uh, amazing that that comes with it, because that can be a quite a hefty additional cost normally. Uh, you get your foot control, so if you do want to use it with or without a foot pedal, you absolutely can. You can, uh, of course, store it away nice and easily with the hard case to protect it. You've got a really hefty instruction manual, all your bits and bobs like your lint brush, your needles, extra needles, your power cable, screwdriver, seam ripper, spools, depending on what um, thread you're using. And then the feet that are included, you get your standard foot. You get a quarter of an inch foot. So if you are doing patchwork and quilting, that was my best friend when I started out. It really, really helped me um, improve my accuracy with my quarter of an inch seam. 
It comes with a zipper foot, so dressmakers, bag makers, you're going to be able to easily insert zips into your projects. It comes with a satin stitch foot, so you can do some lovely applique and satin stitches. It also comes with an over edge foot, which um, almost gives you a bit of an overlocked finished edge on your machine, which is fantastic again for dressmakers. It also comes with an automatic buttonhole foot and Something that I had never really tried, a blind hem stitch foot until my sister, you'll, you'll know at home, if you start sewing, people start bringing you clothes and saying, can you just turn this up or could you do this for me? Can you alter this? And she uh, said, could you turn up her work trousers? I said, yeah, absolutely. And I did it and it had the stitch line running around. She was like, oh no, I want it without a stitch line. I'm like, what? How do you do that? Started having a look online. In fact, I messaged John Scott and he was telling me, put your blind hem foot on. I was like, I don't even know what that looks like. So anyway, after a bit of um, Googling and having a look and looking in the manual, I managed to do this amazing blind hem uh, with the blind hem foot, which is so exciting, takes your projects to that next level. So I think it's a machine that you'll still really, really grow with. And yes, you can still purchase if you want from Elna the, uh, the walking foot. Uh, it isn't like one of those more affordable machines that once you, you sort of want to go to that next level, you have to purchase a whole new machine. You can simply buy those add-ons. So that's amazing as well. It is a machine that's gonna grow with you. There's quite a lot of um, people actually who have this as their second machine. So some of our viewers, and we've had lots of people messaging, who say, look, I've got the 680, or I've got the 720, or I've got another brand of machine, and I wanted something that was a bit more portable, I wanted something that I could go to relatives and so with, I've got a workshop or studio, and then I wanted one at home. I just wanted something that was lightweight and portable. This is brilliant for that, to be able to, to store away. And they use this machine, because it's still gonna bring you the, the professional results that you want. It's got a great array of technical features and functions which we can have a bit of a read through so your sewing space is 170 millimeters so it's not going to feel claustrophobic but you've still got a nice compact machine that's still going to manage some of those larger projects if you're a bag maker or dressmaker you've got a free arm so you can remove the front uh, little sort of storage box uh, and sew in around nice and easily it's got the backlit LED screen which is really really easy to navigate through your stitches your stitch length your stitch width and override it to whatever stitch width and stitch length you want um, you've also got uh, the horizontal full rotary hook with transparent bobbin cover so you can easily cut your bobbin thread nice and quickly and easily built-in needle threader that's a game changer isn't it no longer are we going to be straining our eyes trying to thread those needles seven piece retractable feed dogs which you can on this machine drop your feed dogs so if you do want to do free motion quilting you can do it with this it comes with the built-in LED white light, nice bright light with it. Extra high presser pre 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 foot position, so if you're doing multiple layers, you're going to be able to lift that foot nice and high. At the side of the machine, I'll show you in a second, it's popped out on ours, where you get your stitch reference chart stored on the right-hand side of the machine, so you can easily access what stitches you want, and we'll go through the stitches. Uh, you've got the start-stop button, you've got the reverse button, the auto-lock, the needle up-down. As I said at the start, if you're purchasing a machine that's of this sort of price range, ask yourself, does it have that variable speed control? Are you able to slow down during sewing? That's a really lovely feature to have. It also has the needle up down. So if you want to stop with your needle down, instead of hand cranking all the time, you've got that handy little button. You've also got the locking stitch, so it creates a tiny little not basically at the start or at the end of your stitch sequence without having to go forward and back. Can go forward and back, you've got your reverse stitch here and you can use it with or without a, a foot pedal. Just whilst you're here, you can see as well, you've got that automatic needle threader, which is the lever just to the right of the machine, this little grey lever, you pull that down and that's your automatic needle threader, which is brilliant. So um, I did so show you earlier on, but the free arm, this simply just pulls off the front. You've got your free arm and then you can put your extension table on. It's just a really great user-friendly machine. Your stitches come aplenty. You've got 50 different stitches, which range from a, a great array of utility stitches, buttonhole stitches, applique stitches, um, quilting stitches, decorative stitches, you've got loads. And if you actually be honest with yourself and think, right, how many stitches do I use? 
and how many stitches do I need, depending on what you're doing regularly, it's always great to be able to have hundreds and hundreds of stitches to play around with, but what do you use in your everyday sewing? So that's amazing to be able to have. Now, today, we are doing a special offer with this machine. The price is already brilliant because Kat and I looked last week actually and online, if you just type in Elna 550, the first one that will come up um, is a website that's selling it for 579, 579, same machine, comes with all those extras, brilliant machine. So we're already doing well to say that we're under 500 pounds. It also comes with today, I mean, this is something that's very, obviously, everybody wanting it at the moment. Your Christmas wreath panel exclusive to us, which has been very, very popular. You get that for free. You also get your British Design Roll Jelly Roll panel for free. Uh, so you can get sewing straight away. If you want a pair of snips, very important to have a nice pair of snips to, to sit by the side of your machine. You get a pair of those. As I said at the start, it is important to use the correct bobbins for your machine. I know that Jane says sometimes they don't like other manufacturers' bobbins. So Janome and Elna, of course, are under the same umbrella. So you get plenty of bobbins to keep you stocked up. And if that wasn't enough, you also get some inspiration with one of my favourite books, The Handmade Touch. You've got Pet Makes in here. Cat got her new dog yesterday, little Rudy. Follow him on Instagram. He's already got his own Instagram page. What's his Insta page? Rudy underscore the miniature schnauzer. So if you love little cute puppies, follow him on Instagram. He's tiny, he's tiny. Oh, Kat said I even had a cuddle with him this morning before I came in. Oh, did he have a good night's sleep though, first night's sleep? I know your dad stayed up with him all night, didn't he? That's so good. Cool. That's adorable adorable um so you get all of those for free today which i know that so many people took advantage yesterday we have a set amount that we can offer this this deal with uh, i said i'd be lucky to be talking about it today uh, we have spoken to management and i think i can confirm that this offer will be open no longer than the next couple of days so if you do want it seriously have a think about checking out nice and early if you've got any questions about it please, please message in and um, hopefully I'll be able to get back to you in time. As I say, ye yesterday I was just sifting through the Facebook page and I did see the question about the extension table, which I answered late, late-ish last night. Are we? Are we on Facebook? I think so. I think we're on Facebook, which... Hello, Facebook, my word, we've missed you. So I don't know what happened when we first sort of came over to the studio. Um, we had a bit of technical issue getting on Facebook. And I believe we're actually on Facebook now. So come say hello to us. Come and say hello. Let me know how you are. Have you got the Highland Cow Kit? If you have, well done. Because I think it's actually sold out. <laughs> ah. Right, bear with us. Because we're going to speak to the team, see what we can do. But for the first time ever, you can get the instructions on their own. So if you love the Highland Cow Cushion, if you love this amazing unicorn cushion behind me as well, uh, just search the word Highland Cow on the website and you'll be able to find it. This is, we need to move these kits to like eight o'clock if we're doing this in the future because it's not until 11 o'clock and I've got a feeling that all the patterns are going to have sold out as well. Don't wait. Hi, Jackie. Margaret, good morning. Oh, Jane's got us. Hello. Yes, Facebook world. Hello. Welcome back. Hannah. Hello. Morning. Lovely. Lovely to have you. Hi, Louisa. Oh, you've got to get the bundles gone. If you wanted that Highland cow, get grab the instructions. We had loads of these as well. We said we're going to need as many as possible. You get instructions for both the cow and the unicorn, which I absolutely love. Search the word Highland Cow. Sorry, I never know which way to move with the cameras. They're all everywhere. They're watching me. I've no idea what camera that even is that's on. Oh, is it this one? Okay, so get the instructions on their own. So we've still got loads coming up today. And if you've opened your order nice and early, then now is the time absolutely to uh, make the most of that one postage and packaging all day. So this hour, we're going to be talking a bit more about some of our favourite tools, quoting books, um, some gadgets, some brand new products as well. At nine o'clock, Delphine's going to be with me and we'll have a good look at her quilt in a second. It's behind me and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got some great colourways as well coming up. At 10 o'clock, new 
brand new fabulous fabrics and some of our favourites as well. So we've got lots of new gorgeous fabrics coming up at 10, 10 o'clock and then 11. Uh, I think we all know about this hour already. But if you do want the Highland Cow and Unicorn Cushion instructions, grab them. Can we just... Right, let's just call it Q&A with Delphine. We're going to um, ask her lots of questions because let's face it, we're going to have nothing to sort of sell. We'll go through obviously all of the, um, uh, of how to construct it. We'll go through all of it. Uh, she's going to do some beautiful free motion embroidery with it as well. So if you do have any questions whatsoever for Delphine, that's going to be a nice hour, isn't it? We're just going to have a bit of a, a chit chat. So let us know. Uh, if you've bought it, definitely stay tuned for that show. And then at 12 o'clock, we were repeating yesterday's fabulous fabric shows, which was on at 8 o'clock. Um, behind me, this is Delphine's other project. And look at that. So they're two different projects. I wonder whether I can... Oh, how good is this? So I've got the table runner, which also, I think yesterday inspired me a bit. If I'm being brutally honest, I very, very rarely get a table runner out unless it's Christmas or a very special occasion. That's when you set the table and have a nice table runner. This would make an amazing bed runner as well. Do you know, just to have at the bottom of the bed. We had the bed runners yesterday and I thought, do you know what, I'd never even thought about that. Having, instead of doing a table runner, you could have it as bed runner. So that would look lovely on a single bed. And I suppose you could extend it to be able to do a double bed or whatever you want to do. Um, and then this one as well. Look at those fabrics together. This is from the uh, Wildflower, Wood, uh, Wildflower Wood collection and it's absolutely stunning. Doesn't it look like Moda? It looks an absolute fortune. I think it's one of those that's got beautiful traditional colourways. But normally when you're talking about very traditional colourways, you generally don't see that black sort of stark background and it looks amazing it adds so much drama doesn't it I do love that it looks like a plait doesn't it, it actually looks different when I see it from far away on telly to uh to seeing it close up it's, it's nice to be able to see it from different angles but that's coming up with Delphine in the next hour now we've got loads to do in the next 40 minutes where should we start Kat Yeah, so we talked about having patterns on their own uh, for the first time today. We've got some other patterns which we're launching, I believe, for the first time as well. So the Wildflower Meadow, which was the one that we only saw on Saturday with lovely Sally Ann Harrison, um, is to create this block. So what I love about Lou Orth's patterns, which are the three that we've got for you today, is that, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to do it as uh, sort of, table mat or cushion front you could have that as a bag front but I love that it looks like a little flower look with it's it's sort of like a little flower pot at the bottom all of her instructions are fantastic and if you watch back at the show it was back on, on Saturday just gone the um, mini block is 15 inch square so actually the finished block is this so as you can see Sally Ann has done this like that and then she's also put the triangles around the outside stitch those on so that's block one that's the smaller block you could do it even smaller if you want like Sally Ann has here just binding at this point um, but the smaller block is 15 inch square the baby quilt is 44 inch square and then your lap size quilt is 60 inch square and it gives you all of the breakdown of how much fabric you're going to need in your instructions so I think that's brilliant about the Luorth you're not gonna have to do all the maths of working out how much fabric you're going to need and then as I go through, it's got all of your lovely cutting instructions, again, for all three sizes. You've got your assembly of the block, and it does have this really, really lovely flower sort of design. And just using squares and triangles. Oh, hello, puppy. And Neil, Neil's watching. Neil, I thought you were up north today. He's flying, isn't he? I think he's got a flying. Please don't watch the show whilst you're flying a plane. Concentrate if you are, Neil. I know that he's um, got a fly lesson today. And lovely Poppy's watching. Hi, Poppy. Those of you that know Poppy from uh, Primal, who's on our, our channel on Shopping Quarter later on this evening. I wonder whether she's on tonight, five till seven, if you want to watch her. Uh, so all of your instructions throughout the quilt are here. And then you've also got your colouring page. So depending on what colours you want to use, it looks completely different using these bright colours to using the more earthy tones. These are the uh, Lena Anderson fabrics, which are 
amazing. But the pattern on its own is only £9.49. So then it's up to you to choose what fabrics you want to use. So that's the Wildflower Meadow range. We've also got one of my favourites, which is called Fraction. So, in fact, I've got to open this out because look how beautiful this would look with your Highland cow cushions. This would look great on a bed with the Highland cow cushions, wouldn't it? And I'm not sure which way I'm holding it or which colour is the right way up, but <gasps> look at that. Isn't it amazing? This quilt is just so stunning. Um, I think it's perfect in these colourways as well, that almost ombre of colour. How about using the blender fabrics that we've got coming up later? We've got a bundle of the sort of model effect blender uh, fabrics. They're not a bundle actually, they're individual. But if you do want to create this, or with any of the Tula Pink design rolls that you might have got over the last couple of days. I'm doing it with other colours as well actually. If you are doing it with more of your traditional colours. And actually you can see that it's built up of lots of half square triangles, quarter square triangles. Um, it's literally just, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this block repeated. Big borders. I mean, it's actually, for a really contemporary cool quilt, it looks a lot more complex than actually your blocks are. That You could really put this together beautifully. And it's all about the quilting, isn't it, then? So this is your pattern, again, from Lou Orth. And uh, the finished size of the quilt is 60-inch square. It's got all of the supplies that you might need. And actually, if you do want to do it the similar to this, uh, it does have a breakdown of the different colours, which I'm sure you'd be able to get very, very similar colours on the website. It's got all of your cutting instructions. It's got your assembly instructions. Your layout guide is going to be integral to be able to do. So you can see here, block one is a white square, and then you're building up these blocks, which are then just rotated in different directions. But that's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, do you know when this was on, Kat? Oh, good question. I wonder whether if we type in Fraction Quilt on YouTube and Sewing Street, obviously, on our YouTube page, you might be able to find out when it was on. Because I remember it, it was back in our old studio and it just looked beautiful up uh, on the, uh, the back behind. Have a look again at these gorgeous colours together. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, well done, Kat. It was 28th of July, if you want to watch it back. 28th of July, was it? That long ago? I tell you what, that feels like no time ago. That feels like a couple of weeks ago. And we're already nearly in October. Can you believe it? Sorry, it was just one of the, um, the blocks that I've got here. Just fell over. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Paul. He says, oh, it just scares me. Oh, how did Rudy get on on the journey back? Oh, Rudy's cat's new little um, miniature schnauzer puppy and went to pick him up yesterday. Oh, and he whimpered a bit. Was he settled though? Did he feel settled? Oh, he's got a blanket. We need to make him some uh, like Sewing Street merchandise. He could be like a little mascot, couldn't he? We need to bring him in. Can we bring him in? What's he had? Has he had all his vaccines and things? No. Once he's had, oh, he's only just eight weeks old, so once he's had all his vaccines, we'll bring him in and show you on air. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So it's to look forward to. Uh, so that's our fraction quilt. That was the Wildflower Medal. And then this one, Vintage Tiles, another one that we've done which looks beautiful. We did it in, like, if I remember rightly, like a blue sort of Spanish tiles, bit of a moroccan -y feel to it. Uh, another... Lou Orth pattern, which is absolutely beautiful. £8.99. Now, as you do when you move house, we're still, I'd like to say that we're really organised, we've unpacked everything, everything's in its new home. Kat is literally hysterically laughing in my ear like, aha, okay. Um, we like to give that illusion here that we're all organised, but actually we were trying to find this quilt earlier on and it's it is somewhere in here but we'll find it um so this is your vintage tile quilt have a look online though because you'll be able to see it, it we did it on the show um but it's the first time that we've had i think the pattern instructions on their own and they're just eight pounds 99 this is your block which is a finished 20 inch square so even if you're thinking right i don't know whether i'm at the point that i want to be able to you know that i want to do a full quilt um 
Whereas actually, you could just take it block by block and do cushions. Your baby quilt is 40 inch square, your lap quilt is 60 inch square. You could also do a 16 block, 80 inch square bed quilt with this as well. And it's got all of your fabric requirements and all of your cutting instructions for every size. In your, uh, in your instructions. It's a lovely pattern actually, this is going to be something that I think you use, uh, you don't just use once, you're going to be able to use it time and time again. There's the baby quilt, the lap quilt and the bed quilt. It looks nice in those rainbow colours. It's not very often that we get to do the patterns on their own, so it's really really lovely to be able to, uh, to, for you to use up the fabrics that you might have purchased in your stash. I know that we've got a great fabric out coming up at 10 o'clock as well have a look but there's your colouring page so you could use um, you know you could actually photocopy that and you could uh, scale it up colour it in a few times and see what colours are going to work well very nice indeed £8.99 and then the last one is your array quilt which again is just built up of squares rectangles and half square triangles so another great simple block that looks extremely effective £8.99, three different sizes once again, your baby quilt is 32 inch square, your lap quilt is 65 inch square and your bed quilt is massive <laughs> at 98 by 81 inch square. Hi Kay. Oh thank you. Kay, this is what I love about our community. Kay's got involved, she put on the Facebook page when the fraction, pill, uh, the fraction quilt was on. She's put it into the live chat, she actually put a link to it. Thank you. Click on that YouTube link and you can see the demo for that. So um, amazing. Thanks Kay, that's really helpful. That's really helpful. Can you do that for everything please? Um, this was on the 23rd Kay, if you want to find that as well. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. 23rd of July, 23rd of July. Um, <laughs> Come and have a job here if you want, Faye. Okay, £8.99. So then you've got your baby quilt, your lap quilt and your bed quilt. Sue's watching on the laptop. Oh, where are you camping? This morning it was raining, it wasn't nice at all. I mean, I think we have been very, very lucky to have the most beautiful, beautiful weather over the last week, but I think today it's turned, hasn't it? Is that it now? Is it now officially like autumn or winter? It was the autumn solstice yesterday, that makes sense then, the 21st. And it literally was on cue, wasn't it, from lovely weather to, okay, it's now not even like autumnal weather, it's just grey and rainy, wasn't it, this morning? Not nice. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're having a lovely time camping, whatever the weather. Snuggle up with the laptop watching us on the, uh, uh, online. What did you do then? Because Kat's had two days off. She says I've had two lovely days off. Oh yeah, of course you've got your dog. Paul must have sang Who Let the Dogs Out about five times yesterday. Um, right, so I've got the most affordable rotary cutter that we currently stock. These are the two different sizes. We'll start with the 45 millimeter blade. Now, this is, pardon? Oh, I love you, Kay. Thank you. She's done it again. So she's put the which one, the array or the vintage tiles? She's put, up, she's put up more of the, uh, the array quilt for you. Hooray! Um, thank you for that one. That's lovely. Now, the, the rotary cutter, if you are doing any of your patchwork and quilting, my first three purchases that I ever made were my rotary cutter, my cutting mat, and my ruler. Um, and uh, when you're talking about rotary cutters, yes, you can get smaller, which we'll talk about in a minute, and yes, you can get larger. Uh, I love the 45 millimetre blade because it is kind of again like your, your, your do it all one. It, it is probably the most common one that you can get. It's got the lovely soft grip as well. So if you are doing lots of cutting, especially when you first start, I've found that I've held a lot of tension in my hands. Um, so that is really lovely and cushioned. And it's still got that safety catch. So get into the habit after every cut, once you finish that cut, of locking that blade out. And it's really, really easy to do so. Obviously you can use this for left-handers uh, or right-handers. It, it's lovely and safe, which is uh, of course incredibly important. And when you're talking about a brand like Millwood, I wouldn't expect to see a price like 8 99 That's so affordable. You can pay over 30 pounds for rotary cutters. So if you are starting out, or maybe you want one that's solely for 
um, different fabrics. Maybe you're using one for a foundation paper piecing project with paper or something that you think, right, actually, I'm just going to be using this for my workshops and I've got another one that I keep at home, um, then it's really handy to have another one, isn't it? £8.99 or get somebody else into it. If somebody's been saying to you, look, I've, I love all your projects, I really want to get into it, then why not as a Christmas gift you could get really affordably on the website, lovely mats, rulers, and today your rotary cutter for £8.99. Only ever use it, remember, with a cutting mat. Use it with a cutting mat. What's the surprise? Yes, 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 yes. Right, the instructions. Just the instructions, but we have got way more instructions available. Brilliant news, because we were thinking, we're literally about to sell out. So if you do want them, absolutely make the most of them. If you want the instructions for the Highland cow cushion uh, and the unicorn, can we show them please, Paul? Uh, what I'm talking about, the Highland cow, the unicorn cushion, available for the first time ever, pattern on their own, available for the first time ever. We've had them and they've sold out so many times. Uh, okay, they'd almost sold out and our show's not until 11 o'clock and now we've got them back. So if you're wondering what it was that we were talking about, there they are. Oh, aren't they amazing? I really, really hope all of the people that I messaged this morning, or very early this morning, are up awake and as savvy as you guys because there's been so many people that have been asking me and I know asking Delphine as well uh, when they're coming in and oh now's your chance to get your pattern on your own I mean how lovely would they look as well if you were to use sort of like tartans and uh, hessians maybe some of the natural fat quarters that we've got if you've got any charm packs and this is going to be perfect all you need is the charm packs um, how about using it with some of the the lovely Lewis and Irene fabrics that we've had recently they look gorgeous if you want the pattern on its own, please do not hesitate. I know it's exciting that we've managed to get more, but still grab them whilst you can. You do get the instructions, you don't need to choose. You get both for 12 99 You get the instructions for the Highland Cow and you get the Unicorn, which is amazing. Uh, so we'll keep you updated on that. I'll keep you updated throughout the morning because that's very exciting. So just wanted to let you know as soon as, literally the second that we've just found out. So we've had the 45 millimeter blade. Um, we're now gonna move on to the smaller one, which I love for foundation paper piecing. When you're preparing your seams for foundation paper piecing, this is really, really handy. I also find that it's good if you're doing um, freehand curves. Quite often I have been a bit scared of doing curves with a rotary cutter, but a good tip that I was told is to put your left hand behind your back in fact this might have been Delphine's tip to put your left hand behind your back or whichever way if you're left-handed put your right hand but then do your free your free sort of cutting so you're not there putting your hand anywhere near and if you're doing curves you're going to be able to get into the circle cutter some of the smaller sizes in the circle cutter a lot easier any of your as I say your free hand curves it's going to be um a bit smoother, I think, than using the larger ones. And it's only six ninety nine. So if you've bought anything else today, absolutely have a go with the smaller ones. You're building up your stash. They're very useful. It might not be the one that you use for all of your cutting, but um, especially if you're doing, as I say, any curves or free motion. Uh, sorry, not free motion. Did I say free motion earlier? Foundation paper piecing was what I meant. Um, then this is really handy. Just £6.99. So they're rotary cutters of choice. With the 45 millimeter uh, rotary cutter, you can use any of your 40, standard sort of 45 millimeter blades to change with. So even though this is millwood and this is so easy, they will still work absolutely uh, fine in conjunction with each other. They're 8 99 and you get three spare blades. And in there, I don't think you can see, but they come in like a little packet. They come in like a little um, box. So it's not like you're literally taking this plastic off and then you've got those blades exposed. You need to be very, very careful even when you are changing your blades, even though you think that they're blunt when you're cutting through your fabrics, they're still incredibly sharp. So do make sure you dispose of your blades correctly. Um, the and, and safely the they come in that little plastic storage tub uh, which is for safety 
45 millimeter blade you don't need to change it after every project i know that we do generally say that you should but if you've got any of the sharpeners there's sharpeners online as well if you do want to purchase any rotary blade sharpeners you can sharpen them first and then eventually obviously you will need to replace them so just £8.99 it's good to be able to have them there ready instead when you're starting a project there's nothing more frustrating when you think right sunday afternoon most of the shops are closed but i'm going to sit in on a rainy day on a rainy sunday and do all of my cutting ready for a project that i'm starting on monday and you're slashing your designer fabric and you're thinking do you know what my blades blunt um, and there's no sort of haberdashery shops near you that are open you can't just do your delivery online so it's good to have your little stash ready even if you're thinking well, I did replace my blades quite recently. It's still good to have them there. It's like your needles and bobbins. It's good to just have them there. So that's £8.99. They don't take up much room, do they? Uh, this is the first time that I've seen replacement blades for the 28mm, actually. I didn't know that we had them in stock. Easy to change. Um, and these you can use with your millwood. You can use with your clover. You can use them with any of your 28mm blades. You get a pack of two. Um, it's got a uh, that lovely protective holder as well. It's slightly different to the other one, but can you see? You've got this um, orange sort of shape around the outside. That's your protective cover with your blade holder included. So they're from uh, Clover, as I say, it gives you a bit of a demo of how to change them without having to touch the blade. Just £6.99 for your refill pack. Uh, we've also got, which is quite interesting, your, are these, are these waves? Or is it pinking? I think this is a wave. You get all three, amazing. Right, so I've never seen these before either. Um, in this pack, you get a pinking edge rotary blade. So, you know, obviously when you're finishing any of your seams with dressmaking, we talk about pinking, or when you're looking at your, um, I see a lot more dressmakers actually using rotary cutters. On Sewing Bee, they were all using rotary, well, a lot of them were using rotary cutters, and it's not something that I associate really with dressmakers. Uh, but it's good to be able to just get that nice, clean, pinked edge in one sweep. If you're using scissors, which are great and very useful indeed, but you know when you sort of do the snip and then you go to start the next snip, you don't always get that perfect pinked edge, do you? If you're doing lots of pinking, uh, then this is great. So you get a pinking edge. Also, if you buy any of our charm packs, quite often actually, they come with a pinked edge already because you can get obviously fray with lots of cottons and different fabrics. Also, I like pinked edge on um, bunting or little toy doll clothes and things like that. It's nice as a decorative edge as well as a functional, uh, a functional use. You also get this one. Can you zoom really close to this shape, Paul? Because it's really difficult to sort of explain what it is. It's called a skip. So it basically looks like that. It looks almost like a castle turret. Can you see what I mean? So... Um, that's going to look really cool again as decorative edges, isn't it? So you get a skip blade, which you, you can completely sort of um, change between them. Does it make a what, sorry? I think it makes a bit of a serrated edge. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? Oh, actually, no. Do you know what it does? It, does that. it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. That's the shape of the blade, and the blade creates like a, um, a, a, a line stitch like this. It almost, I wonder whether, oh, I want to try it out. You skip, hmm, let's see. I've not seen them before, but I'm trying to work out. Edge perfect, edge perfect, skip. Mm, we'll have a look, we'll Google it and see. Um, the wave as well is going to look really nice. So it's not like a pink edge, it's going to be a wave. In fact, now we're on Facebook, it's really easy to drop your messages down. Have you used a skip blade in your rotary cutter? It probably does what it says on the tin, do you know what I mean? Like it skips part, but I want to see what that looks like because you just have like a cut and then no cut, a cut and no cut, a cut and no cut. So you could put ribbon through maybe? perforating fleece, paper, cardstock, thin plastic, canvas and more. So it's to give you a perforated edge. 
That's interesting, isn't it? Ah, nice. Uh, well, let me know. Drop a message on Facebook and tell me what you use it for, if you have used them before. But it's the first time I've seen these. They come in the protective cover again. You can use these, even though it's a so easy, branded, you can still use them with your millwood. You can use them with your Ulfa, use them with your Clover, use them with any of your 45 millimeter blades, as long as it's got that same center. Oh, in fact, actually, yeah, I think you'll still be able to use it with any, many, most of your 45 millimeter blades. Okay, now let's do something that we had on yesterday's show actually that was very, very popular and most, I don't know where it is, I did get it out yesterday. We'll do the quilters bubble and then we'll come back to the uh, rotating cutting mat, we'll try and find it. So, this is one of the most hefty books that we have, it is packed full of Wow, all things quilting, £15.99, it's like a full course. Obviously, at the moment, we can't go on courses and workshops and things. So it's nice to be able to have a book that you could gift or just refresh um, some of your knowledge or completely start from scratch. There are loads of techniques to learn. Do you know who absolutely loves this book? Rebecca Reed. I think she went through it for about 25 minutes and um, Kat was like, um, I think we need to move on, I think we need to move on. So I know that we've had a really, really um, in-depth look at this book, but it's brilliant that it really goes back to basics, um, to different tools, to marking tools, to measuring and cutting, to sewing tools, pressing tools, gizmos and gadgets, materials, uh, different colours, using templates using different technology. This is cool. I wonder what, let me go back to that. Using technology. That's cool, isn't it? Using computer scanners, printers, using the internet. Um, it's brilliant. So you've got loads and loads of different projects in here. Scrap quilts, machine piecing. Not necessarily, as I say, block by block quilts, but it will be a brilliant one if you want to start designing your own or doing uh, your own sort of sampler quilts. This is blocks with unusual shapes, which is brilliant, isn't it? Um, you've got great techniques in here, packed full of ideas. Puff patchwork, folded star, Japanese folding techniques. Oh, there are different projects as well. Adding different borders. The mermaids, love that. Um, what's that, sorry? the dressmaking book that we talk about which one oh there's one apparently that's equivalent in dressmaking we've got something very similar in dressmaking and we always say this is this is really really popular is it one that um is it the jules fallon one the complete guide to dressmaking that's brilliant that's this is the same isn't it for quilting You've got every technique possible. It is the quilting bible. To call it the quilting bible, you really have to be confident that you've got all of the different techniques in here, don't you? And you really, really do. The stained glass effect, a whole section on different ways to quilt, in a hoop, freehand, whole cloth quilting, sash go. Some lovely um, projects in here as well, different techniques. We are going to be talking about free motion quilting later on, actually, with Delphine and the uh, the Highland Cow project, which I know I sound like a broken record today, but I just want to keep reminding you, if you're just tuning in with us, do not miss it, because we already have had every single time that Kat is refreshing the screen, multiple are selling very, very quickly. There's the Highland Cow. The kit has now sold out. So if you want to use your own fabric, so the first time ever we've decided, look, come on, it's so popular. I know how many people have asked, can we do the pattern on its own? We're doing it. The Highland Cow and the Unicorn, you can do either of which. You don't even need to decide right now because you get both of them for 12 99 I love that Unicorn. Type the word Highland Cow or look below us on the website. You can have a look. Just fifteen ninety nine. Sorry, is the uh, is the book? They're just twelve ninety nine. The twelve ninety nine for the patterns, which are brilliant, 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 brilliant. Thank you. Um, keep me updated, Cat, with what's going on because we managed to get loads more uh, patterns in stock. Well, I, right, I say that we thought we had loads more patterns, hundreds of patterns, and I still don't know whether it will last till 11, put it that way, it's very busy this morning. Thanks for your company. Hope you're having a lovely, well, it's grey and miserable Wednesday morning, isn't it? Stay in bed with a cuppa and stay with us. So, 
as I say, I know Rebecca Reed has gone through this page to page. Uh, it's only £15.99, which is a brilliant, brilliant price. Hi, Mary. Oh, Mary, which refill blade do you want the code for? Um, the, I'll just quickly tell you, the 45 millimetre blades is PCZW20. PCZW20 for the 45 millimetre blades. The 28 millimetre blades, your item code is IKZW43. IKZW43. Or the fancy ones with the wave, the skip and the pinking edge is LDZW45. There you go. Hope that helps. Hope that helps. This is the great thing about now being on Facebook. So I don't know what happened during the move, but you know when you move house and your internet doesn't work or there's different things that you think, oh, the cooker doesn't work. Like I, I know how to do it. And uh, we moved home and then we were like, oh, don't know how we've lost Facebook over here, but we've got it back. So I think it, today's the first day that we're live back on Facebook, which is brilliant because it's such a great social space to, to chat to us and chat to each other as well. Hi, YouTube. Don't want to forget YouTube either. We love our chat on YouTube. Kat has literally got about 10 computer screens open now to keep an eye on all of the chat. She says, I've got too many tabs and it's stressing me out. You know, when you see all these little tiny tabs at the top of your search bar screen, she's like, I've got loads. They're getting smaller and smaller. They're the ones that she's got right now. So, can I just quickly show you, before we get Delphine on, because I want to spend as much time with her demoing today. We love Delphine. Not being biased, but isn't she the best? She is literally one of our favourite designers and also just one of our favourite people. We feel like literally she has joined our family and just love her, love her so much. And she's literally, by the way, one of the nicest people you could ever meet. So thank you so much for all of your lovely support for her because we've had so many lovely messages of, uh, I mean, she's so talented, isn't she? She's so talented. But um, you know, sometimes when you meet people off the telly, I'm not going to say who I've met, but I've met a couple of people where I absolutely idolised them before. And then um, I thought, oh my word, I'm really disappointed. You're just not very nice. Whereas actually, I must say, all of the family here are, are just as lovely as you see on screen. Delphine is just amazing. Hi, Pauline. Pauline's asked, when was the demo for the Highland Cow Cushion? We're going to do it at 11 o'clock. We're going to do the Highland Cow today. Um, I'll have a look for the other one as well because we're going to do a bit of a different quilting technique today. But the instructions are so clear as always. They're written by Delphine. Um, it was two months ago. It was back on the 12th of July that we did it and we haven't had it since. Uh, that's how long we've been waiting to get these back in and this is why it's like Glastonbury tickets this morning. You've got to grab them. They are selling very fast. Um, but we are going to be demonstrating it today at 11 o'clock and she's going to try and do as much as she possibly can on both. She, during the uh, sort of 10 o'clock show, she's going to start prepping the unicorn as well because we love the colourway of the kits that you've already bought and it's sold out um, of the unicorn one as well. So, um, it's all right, we'll talk about it with Delphine in a bit. The book that we're going to be working on with Delphine in the next hour is this. Now, the book is available on its own, and I, I don't think we've done this for ages. We're actually putting each book in the bundles of fabric as well. So, it, it's up to you whether you want the book on its own, if you're thinking of a particular colourway, or if you love this colourway behind me. Don't buy the book just yet because we have got the kit where you get the fabrics and the book. But I wanted to have a bit of a look through the book because we are going to be focusing on one project in here. But you've actually got eight. Bear in mind, we know how much you can pay for a pattern. We've just seen some beautiful, beautiful Lou Orth patterns. Um, but this is what baffles me. I don't understand why this is so low. It's £8.99. Eight quilts, 16 designs, different design options. Um, so you've got, I mean, look at these colours. It just gives you some great inspiration, doesn't it? Oh, I must say, right, do you know what? We, I was just talking about, I was getting all emotional talking about how brilliant our new additions to our family are. And Delphine is literally one of our favourite people ever and one of our other faves is watching, our lovely Kerry. So lots of love, Kerry, um, if you're watching from home. We are, we're just so lucky, aren't we, to have such amazing, talented people join our family, but also lovely people. 
And I must say, Kate, I don't even know you, and I think you're fab as well. She's put um, on the, the array quilt on the uh, YouTube, uh, not YouTube, on the Facebook link. Carol, we don't have any 18 millimeter replacement blades at the moment. Uh, they're with us because we have got a, a, an 18 millimeter rotary, uh, rotary cutter, I believe, so we should be getting the blades in. It's the replacement blades I don't think we've got on the website at the moment. Sorry about that, but um, it will be looking something that we're, we're looking towards getting. Thank you for your message. Come on in and say hello. So this book, your flights are fancy, designer tips along the way, and his quilting books are ridiculous. What's the price per project in this? Let's go 16, because there's 16 different design options. Even if I said eight designs, I mean, we're looking at just over a pound a project, but 16, 56 pence a project, and it actually says 16 plus, because I suppose you could take blocks and repeat them in different ways, take different blocks and do sample quilts. You could do just one block as a cushion front. You could do one block as a bag front. There's loads you can do. There's your spin wheels. Alternative techniques are provided as well. You don't need to sort of think about, uh, oh, what else can I do with it? They do give you alternative techniques. That's cool. Not seen this one before. That's really, really nice. This is a brand new book, I believe. I don't think we've worked from this book before. Uh, all of your layout diagram is extremely clear. And then in the back, you've got all of your templates, which look to me, let's have a look, because this is always sometimes, well, it is sometimes a game changer for people. Um, you don't need to upscale those, I don't think. Normally, it will tell you if you do uh, need to upscale it at all, whereas they are, uh, enlarge it, whereas they look like they're to scale. Paper piecing, beach glass. Oh, they're lovely colours, aren't they? It's good to get some inspiration about different colours to use as well. So, you're getting eight different projects. The one that we are working on, let's see, is, oh, that square dance nut. That square dance would look brilliant with the Lewis and Irene that we had earlier on with the animals, you know, the world animals that we had yesterday. It's underneath, it's on the web still if you do want to make the most of it. In fact, that looks like a bit of Tula in there. That's a cool quilt, isn't it? That'd be really nice, wouldn't it, Paul, with our world animals? Was that what you were thinking? We loved the world animals, the Lewis and Irene uh, layer cakes, the 10 inch. They were so lovely. Did you see it, Kat? It was gorgeous. It was so gorgeous. Sarah, as well, she's just amazing. And uh, the, the quilt design was beautiful, wasn't it? Uh, they're all on the website, by the way, if you do want to make the most of them. I think the one, I think the one sold out, if I'm not mistaken. But the Wild Animals, I think, is actually still available. It's still available, so you can make the most of that. And that would look great with this. I think it just reminded me because there's horses and all sorts on here. Just $8.99. So this is the, oh, there we go. Hang on, Th this is the one that we're doing. The spin wheels project is the one that we're looking at. And the option of the table runner as well. So there you go, look at our lovely colourway. Look at that lovely colourway. So this is the one that we're going to be making, which is 56 by 68. And also, there you go, your alternate layout is your tw 50 inch by 20 inch, whether it be a table runner or a, a, a bed runner. Uh, so that's £8.99. Now, I said I think that the Elna Bundle potentially could last to the end of the week. It's so busy today, we're already down to really, really limited stock on how many of the bundles that we can give away. Don't get me wrong, we're always going to be able to offer the machine, fingers crossed, at the price. 499 is brilliant, but if you are umming and ahhing about it, today's the day to get it as you do get a £55 worth of goodies along with it, including two panels, handmade touch book, extra bobbins, some beautiful Janome snips as well, and of course, one of the most used machines that we bring here, the Elna 550. If you do know somebody that maybe is upgrading to their first computerised machine or is looking to, let them know about this offer because it's fantastic. And even if you look elsewhere, I found that machine for £579, so we're already doing a brilliant price anyway. But just to say thank you for all of your support during our move to our new studio, we want to, of course, um, get everybody sewing and keep everyone sewing, which we absolutely love. So. Make the most of it. I know lots of you have already checked out this morning, so thank you so much, and um, let me know if you do have any questions about it, and I can answer them. We're going to get Delphine on air with the Twist and Turn book coming up next, so check out your baskets. Don't go anywhere. We're back with Delphine in just a few minutes.
Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.
Hello, welcome back, welcome back. It is such a busy morning. Um, we've been going on and on and on about this Highland cow all, well, for the last two months, haven't we? Elliot, who's been working behind the scenes, he's just come in and says, this is my favourite project I've seen. Full stop, it's just amazing. Um, so the patterns are still selling like hotcakes and we uh, uh, managed to add some more. We're gonna try and get some more in because I think it's still gonna not be enough until uh, before 11 o'clock. There's the Highland cow, it's so cool. I haven't even bought the graphics live. I haven't told you the code, but everybody's finding them, well done. Okay, we will make it fair for everybody. At 11 o'clock, we will launch it and bring you um, the, the, the code then. Now, I, I've been, Talking about the Highland Cow, but actually this pattern is selling really, really quickly. And I um, haven't seen a, a bundle like this for ages. It's really lovely to be able to bring to you the, the book and the, uh, the, the, the instruction, sorry, the pattern, the book and all of your fabrics in the same kit. So, which one should we start with? Should we start with the one that's on the wall, in fact? It's all right, let's move it over and we can have a look. Now, this is from the Wildflower Woods collection, which is gorgeous even though you've got quite a sort of traditional colorway i love this fabric it's got a real sort of striking striking color hasn't it the pinks with that black background is brilliant you get two and a half meters of this fabric two and a half meters and Dalphine said there's so much that's left over uh, so two and a half meters of this one which is from washington street studio which is it's the first time that we've bought a collection from washington street studio and i must say it's fantastic quality when we first looked at it and felt it, we just instantly just presumed for a long time that it was Moda. And then when I've done some research into Washington Street Studios as well, they're, they're fantastic quality quilting fabrics, beautiful colours. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Different scales of print as well. So you get two and a half metres of this. We've also got, again, from the same collection, the Wildflower Woods collection, you get a metre and a half of this, which is your brown square dot fabric. Uh, you then also have a metre and a half of your cream sunflowers with that little pink speck as well. And then we also have your red sort of mottle blender as well, which goes perfectly with all these. £98.99 and now this is enough to be able to make the full quilt and you'll still have fabric to play around with. So we'll talk to Delphine about just how much fabric there goes. You get a metre of the claret mixer fabric. Plus, you get your book. Now it isn't just the instructions as I say for this one, uh, the, the one spinning wheels which we're doing. I will show you your instructions which we'll go through with Delphine. And they are really, really lovely and thorough. But you also have plenty of alternative options. So there's your layout diagram. And then if I carry on, you can see it gives you an alternative option. And this is whether you want it as a table runner or a bed runner. They're beautiful. Plus, we get so many other projects. Uh, this book's got eight full quilt designs and 16 design options. So if you do love the colourway that's uh, on the wall uh, that you saw this morning, absolutely grab this kit because you get all the fabric you need, plus you get the book. It isn't going to be the only pattern I'm sure that you make from this. Uh, great value for money, especially with the leftover fabric as well. You could do some cushion fronts to match maybe. Uh, just £98.99. That one is already selling very well. Now we've also got it in a beautiful blue solid fabric, which is the one that Delphine's going to be working with. This I love. I think it looks completely different and it's going to really, really start to work well. Uh, in fact, you know the early bird special? The early bird special is going to look great with this if you want to do some beautiful quilting, maybe with some of those blues in the early bird. We're going to talk about some quilting uh, and different options of quilting later on as well. So, six and a half metres of fabric. You're getting two and a half metres of your navy blue, two and a half metres of that lovely royal deep navy midnight blue. This is a gorgeous blue as well. This is your sapphire blue. You get a metre and a half of this one. Metre and a half of your candy blue. And a metre of your white. Your blue and white twil uh, your twist quilt kit. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, and your book, remember, for just £49.99. Oh, my word. Okay, hang on. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the price then. £49.99, that's brilliant value. You get 
lots of fabric there. Plenty to do the quilt and have a bit of a play with other projects as well. $49.99. That's great, isn't it? Let's take off the book. So um, eight nine nine, which six and a half meters of fabric? You got thirteen half meters. You're paying three pound fifteen pence a half meter. So the value for money is actually lower than our price point um, that we stock it for anyway. We're three fifty a half meter. So a massive saving on your fabric there. Massive saving. You're paying. 41 pounds for six and a half meters of fabric. So even if you're thinking of a different project, maybe from this book or from a, a different quilt in mind, grab that whilst you can, because that's really good value for your blues especially. That's like an early bird price on your fabrics. And then, right, I don't want this one to pass you by uh, because Misty Blue has been kitted in this. How long have we waited to get Misty Blue in? Cat and I, uh, well, I can't claim this is me. Cat has been putting together the most beautiful, that's Misty Blue, isn't it? That's silver, oh. Misty Blue is back on the website though, Cat's saying. Oh, that's good. That's a good job after I'm saying, Misty Blue, Misty Blue. Um, it looks like Misty Blue. I suppose it's when it's next to the greys and the blues. It just bring out that blue tone. Sorry, let me start again. So you get silver, which is a metre and a half. Silver, a metre and a half. You get dark grey, that's your two and a half metre bundle. So two and a half metres of this. Jade, which is a metre and a half. And then lime green, which is one metre. All of that fabric, that's going to look completely different again, isn't it? 49.99 and your book, don't forget. Uh, I think this is one of the first times that we've done the kit with the book. Now, if you do want the book on its own, if you've got lots of fabric uh, in your stash already and you've got fabrics in mind maybe for this, or you've spotted another project that you want to have a go at, the book on its own is just £8.99. The book on its own is super, super popular. Uh, less than £10 for a lot of projects and a lot of different options. Even some of the quilts, if you want to say, actually, do you know what, I'm not going to do the whole quilt, but I just want to take a block of it and use it as a cushion front or a bag front. You've got great quilting basics and tips and techniques on binding as well. Plus, watch back today's demo on YouTube. Eight pounds, 99 pence. Uh, right, let's say hello to our lovely Delphine. Hello. How are you? I'm very well being with you today. How are you, lovely? I'm good, thank you. Honestly, we have got such a great show today, haven't we? Oh, we, we, we're very busy today. How much Lots demand have you had for this Highland cow? Uh, quite a bit. I never thought when I designed it, it would be as popular as it is. I was actually quite nervous about it, actually, when I, when I was designing it, because as you know, when I start any designs, it all starts with the drawing, yeah. which is, you know, my background from when I was this big uh, so when I was just playing around the drawing and then I had the charm pack and I thought I'll give it a go and I was really nervous actually sending it, it sending it to Hayley to show her and she was like yes love it and then uh, yeah so it's gone crazy it has yeah, yeah we love it we can't wait to talk about that at 11 o'clock but first twist and turn yes yeah, this lovely project really enjoyed this one and, and the colorway yeah. that it's made up in is great isn't it I mean it's beautiful traditional I can imagine this is something that's Got to go with everybody's sort of decor Definitely, and, yeah. uh, and pass down through generations even. It's beautiful fabric. Like you say, this one here, um, that. that was just stunning. And the, like you say, the quality, the feel of the fabrics. So uh, it's it just so easy to work with, really easy to quilt with. So anyone who actually does get this um, quilt, this uh, will, will also definitely agree, 100%. Brilliant. So with six and a half metres of fabric, it goes a long way, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So I got obviously I got the fabric and I felt a bit bad by just stopping at the full size quilt. So I kept going, I kept sewing. Brilliant. So I also made the um, the other alternative in the book. So as you pointed it out, so there's the main uh, way you can put the block together. Um, so one block is made up of four separate blocks. Okay. So uh, which we'll go through in a bit. Uh, but just ch by changing the um, just uh, the, the positioning. Is that the right word? The positioning yeah, right, uh, yeah. and will. Will give you a completely different and that looks like a plat design. It does, almost, yeah, isn't it? and it gives you a completely different look. So, um, and then I, I, I still kept on going, and then I ended up doing a cushion, cushion and I could have well. kept on going and doing more. And so. that's all from one kit. Yeah, all from one kit. That's crazy, yeah. isn't it? There's loads you can do. The yeah. blues as well. Some of the solids, mm. it's going to look completely different, yeah. but equally it's striking actually. Really striking, yeah. Well, you can see how well that's being picked up there. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice. Yeah. Okay, so where do we start? We <sighs> better get where do we start? Okay. It's a go, go, it go. Is. It's, it's a busy, busy morning today. Okay, so as you, I don't know if you can see, yeah, so you can have a look at the um, these two yep. triangles here, the, yep, the two blues, so 
the turquoisey blue and the light blue. So we're going to start with that. So you can make four lots of the triangles by just using two pieces of fabric. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Now you will need a pencil or a pen. Um, don't worry about um, it being an erasable or anything like that because you mm -hmm. won't see it. I just did it all with a pencil at home. So next to my, um, so I've been sewing in the kitchen at the moment, so I just put the um, a pot of pens next to my machine. So it doesn't matter. You don't need any special pens at the moment for this one. Okay. Okay. So you're going to grab a ruler. Excuse me. Cool, isn't it, Matt? It is good, isn't it? I want one of them. Yeah. Aren't you getting those in your uh, sewing room, darling? I am. Yeah. What are you moving? Is it going? Is it happening? Hopefully soon. It's. Um, they're just asking us things like, are we going to take the sewers with us? Oh, God. Didn't know that was a thing. So yeah. we're doing all the fixtures and fittings at the moment, but it's all going through. Okay. And that said, our chain's very small. So okay. hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Oh, so my hair might not be this colour the next time. You <laughs> but you'll have a sewing room. <laughs> I will have it. Eventually, Nick was actually up last night um, designing it. He's very handy, isn't Nick? He's an engineer, so he's very good with his hands. So he's uh, looking at maybe building it himself. And I, I, but the thing is, he won't do it very quick. So I'm like, I just want to build her in. Just get it done fast. Amazing. Right. So you're going to take a ruler and you're going to draw a line from that corner to that corner. So I'm not doing half square triangles. This is something a little bit different. Oh, this is quite dark. But at least it will show up with me using a darker pen. pen, pen. Okay. So now you will need a ruler that's got a quarter inch seam, the quarter inch mark on it. So you will need that. Okay. So if not, I can't remember how much it is in mils, then just a normal ruler is fine. But uh, you do need to make sure it is a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now, so as you can see there, oh, it's picked up quite well actually, I've got the four different triangles. So you're going to put your quarter inch on that line that you've just drawn. And you need to draw another line on the right hand side of each triangle. Okay. That's one there. Make sure it's on the right hand side, otherwise you'll cut through the stitches. These creative grids are great because they've got that frosted quarter of an inch mark, haven't they? Yeah. Because the, uh, the non-slip grip is actually a quarter of an inch. And uh, like you say, it doesn't move around. You can use a Y ruler for this as well, actually, but this okay. is just a, um, a simpler way of, of showing you how to do it. Seam there. gauge as well, the creative grid seam gauge is good, quarter of an yeah. inch marker. So as you can see, I'll just put that in the middle there so you can have a little bit of a look. So I only did the lines on the right hand side of my drawn line. Can you see that? Oh yeah, yeah. that's picked up really well actually. Perfect, it? yeah, it's good to be able to see it with a darker pen sometimes. Okay, so with a rotary cutter, so your original line that you redrew, the, the one from the corner to the corner, you're going to cut through those lines. Okay. So, that's one, and that's two. Do you know what? No, I shouldn't. Are you cutting the one, the other one? No, I should have sewn it first. Oh, okay. I'm thinking how sweaty my hands are. Do you want the aircon on? Do you want some no, aircon? fine. Yeah, we'll put oh. some aircon on. Oopsie, never mind. Never mind. Oopsie. <laughs> we all do it. Do you know what? How many of these blocks have I made? You can oh, see from the quilt whoa. behind me and the one in front of me, it's nerve-wracking doing it on the telly <laughs> than doing it in my kitchen. So if I was doing this at home, have a bit of a um, production line going, you know, just have, do all of these, mark them all out, then do it at the sewing machine. And then you cut off all the little dog ears. Just like have a little process for each one. Okay, so now. Right. Now. So. I'm going to sew. I'm sewing it, Vicky. I'm not cutting it. <laughs> right. Okay. So quarter inch seam on your... Um, on your machine, make sure this is all plugged in. Excuse me for a second. Right. Okay, I'm going to stand on the plug there, so I'll just move that out of the way. <gasps> right here. Which line are you so, sewing on? Oh, ap apologies. Right. So, not the one that I just cut through. Okay. The, the ones that I drew on the right hand side here. Okay. So, you're going to sew along each one of those lines. So, I'll be, <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's all fun and games, isn't it, here on oh, a Wednesday morning? Oh, it's different, isn't it, telly sewing? Completely different. Just, <laughs> just, just, just a bit. stood up, but also, yeah. it's just, I think just telly life is just a bit different. It is, it? yeah. When you're in your own little world at home, you know, you wouldn't think twice yeah. about doing that. So, 
Okay, so along each and every line. Do you know what? I think I did that the very first time I was on with you. Oh, no, it's me. Don't, don't I'm say sure, it's me. I'm sure I did that. I was doing half square triangles and I cut them before I sewn them. Because I remember <laughs> Wendy Orlando was watching at the time and she said to me, I was watching thinking, you're not going to cut that. And you cut it. And I was... <laughs> So, yeah, we all do it. We all make oh, yeah. our little... Everyone won't do that now. It's good to sort of see it like that, isn't it? So just yeah. think, actually, no, think about this. Which one am I sewing on for? I did it on purpose to show you what not Thank to you. do. Yeah, exactly. It was a happy accident. It was a Bob Ross. It was a happy accident. We were talking about that yesterday. Who is it that said about happy accident? I said, you've got it embroidered, haven't you? One of your friends did that for you. Yeah, mistake. Yeah, she happy accident. She took the kids to school for me this morning. Oh, bless her. Okay, and last one. So again, once you've done, I'd have them all go in at the same time. I wouldn't do them individually. I'd do do the whole lot. I think you need forty actually. So it's quite a lot to do the whole quilt. So then we are cutting And then rewind it. about five minutes <laughs> <laughs> back to when I was cutting. There we go. So there we are. You cut along your original line, not the ones that you did on the right hand side. And there. Brilliant. Okay, so now we've got our four triangles. So you now need to get your iron out. So you do need to have a lot of iron in this, so make sure you've got everything set up. Do you like to just set yourself up a bit of a station? Of I do, I have everything. Because I know everything Sally Stevens, on. she puts her iron purposely in a different room so she gets her steps in. I'm like, oh my word. That is, she says, otherwise I'll just sit there or, you know, just do this to this. I'm like, that is, that is good commitment. She's got one of these watches that bleeps for her to do some walking. Oh, to keep getting up and moving around. So she puts her ironing board in a different room. But no, I um, tend to have it all set up, ironing board. I said, I'm, I'm in the kitchen at the moment, so I'm so excited about my new sewing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, today. There's, I'm getting all of a tangle today. <gasps> it's all good. That Sorry, we plugged you in. Oh, yeah. I'm plugged in. I'm plugged in. OK, so now... Um, when the, we was always, there's always talks, isn't there, about do we sew into the light side, the dark side? Uh -huh. With this one, I'm just going to go to the dark. Now, a little trick for when you do these, especially when you're doing triangles, when you're actually ironing it, they can actually, you're not opening the seam correctly. Uh. So a little way, and then obviously when you come to, especially when you're trying to match them all up, they might not all meet. Okay. And then you're thinking, where did I go wrong? Because I cut it really accurately, and your sewing's really accurate. If you take the dark side, start on the left, the light side, a light press, only very, very light, then turn it over and use the tip of the iron to just open it out. So start on the wrong side, holding the dark bit, a light little waft, if you like, over the top, using the corner, open out the seams. And that's a perfect way of making sure that every single seam is pressed correctly. Good tip, very good tip. Well, so, you know, you've got the little dog ears at the top. Do you, are they all right to be left on or will you trim? I'll trim those, trim yeah. Them? So again, I'll do, I'll do all of those and then that's another job done. Put that down there. So now... Very, very limited on the blue and the one that's been made up, the wildflower woods, just so you know. Don't let the green and the greys pass you by. That's going to look completely different again. I love that, it? yeah, because I didn't see one. the blue one on, um, when I came in. I only saw that one. I was like, I've not made that one. Oh. And I was like, it looked really lovely, though. And then they lifted up the book and I saw this one. But those are beautiful colours. Yeah, don't let that one pass you by. That's your main graphic at the moment now. And it's only 49 99 which is six and a half metres of fabric plus your book. And in fact... Just thinking that nice lime green that you're going to do some quilting with. Yeah. That would look really nice with this as well. Check out today's early bird. Good saving on that as well. If it all goes well, so let's face it, I didn't have the best of starts, so but I'll just come on. <laughs> you're amazing. You're oh, amazing. Dear. Just goes, well, humour. You'll make mistakes. There we are. Right. So imagine I've already cut my squares. Uh, you do cut these a slightly different size. Uh, all the instructions are in the book. Okay. Uh, and then you just cut the, you'll cut your squares and you just cut from corner to corner. Simple okay. triangle. Now you're going to take one of your ones that you've already sewn together and then you're going to put it on the top, meet the corners. You can pin if you like. As you know, I'm not a big pinner. I tend to just go for it. 
Do you find that you got a bit of a production line going, or do oh. you make block by block? No, yeah. I'm a, I tend to make one block just so I know where I'm at with it and what it's yeah. going to look like, so you can uh, see it in your head. Because obviously you've got it in the pattern, yeah. but you want to see your colourway, and also if you think you want to make sure you get the right contrast of fabric. So you want to make sure that so you know with the uh, the spinning wheel, the dark fabric. Yeah. You don't want to make sure that what you're having next to it is not the same okay. shade, because yeah. if it's quite dark, you'll lose the pattern. So. Right. Um, I tend to always make up one block and then sometimes even change it all around. Right, okay. So, uh, but you, you, you might want to have like two different colourways uh -huh. on the same quilt. Right, okay, so. yeah. So then I'm going to chain piece these together so it's nice and quick. Like I said, you could have loads of these going to the point, you know when you've got those flags, all that bunting, that will yeah. all be draping <laughs> over your table. Might well love a bit of speedy sewing. Oh. Won't see the 680 for a while, and it is. She uh, just purrs at you, doesn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. She's lovely. She's my favourite. I know that when Devin came in this morning, she's like, I need the 680. <laughs> it's a lovely machine. What machine do you have at home? I've got a Janome 605 QXL. Okay. Uh, fairly similar. Not as, not as Gucci as this one, though. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Well, new sewing room. I could put a bit extra on the mortgage and get an extra sewing machine. <laughs> oh, I'll have the lot. That's the problem being here all the time, isn't it? It's like, oh my word, we see all the best gadgets. And it does actually yeah. make a difference, I think, when you're sewing on, you know, these, uh, the, the Alna machines. That it, I do think it makes a difference. When I first started, I borrowed somebody's machine and it just... It just let me down. It just yeah. let me down. Well, that's why I cha uh, changed my machine. I had an older machine, and like you say, it just kept letting me down. Especially as you know, I do a lot of free motion quilting, yeah. and it just kept breaking. I was having needles snap, or mm -hmm. and everything. And uh, do I dare say it? Touch wood. It's never happened to me yeah. since I got my new machine. I remember Nick coming into uh, the dining room. So if I'm doing a lot, I tend to sit down. Otherwise, I stand up. And he was like, how's your new machine, love? I was like, she's just purrs at me. Oh! Because <laughs> uh, usually he's walking in and my face is like this. And I'm like, I've broken another needle. But no, he was... Um... Yeah, cause it's supposed to be enjoyable, isn't it? I always think, actually, yeah. it does make a difference. And you're sewing on these lovely machines. It does um, make you enjoy it. Now, there's obviously a big difference uh, when we're talking about price between the Alna 550 and the 680 Plus. I, I appreciate that. Uh, but I'm talking about Elna in general as a brand. Um, they're, they're really robust machines and they both come with a two-year warranty, so you know that you've got that reliability. There's your bunting. There's your bunting. Oh, I'm just going behind. <laughs> there we are. Behind the curtain. So, yeah, so, you've just, so you, if you are chain piecing, you can imagine you'll have loads yeah. of this. So when it starts pulling, that's the time to just cut the thread and, uh, and start again. But I am a big fan of chain piecing. It is so much easier. And I like saving time. I'm a busy mama. I haven't got an awful lot of time. That's to, it. You know, so I'm doing my sewing, and then it's school run, and then it's back, and then it's doing the tea, and then sewing again. So I'm, I like to do things. I even if you set yourself aside, though, even 15 minutes a day. I've got so many friends who always say to me, how would you do as much as you do? Like, how do you ma have time to do it? And actually, if you just set yourself even 15 minutes of sewing a day, You'll be surprised how quickly these blocks come together. I tend to uh, sometimes give myself a little bit of a challenge every now yeah. and again and uh, see how quickly I can whip something up. Yeah. And uh, I was quite late the other day and I had some uh, bits of fabric left over. This one actually. And I made that in 30 minutes. Oh, but I, if you've never seen, I was like running around the kitchen. Yeah. There was steam coming off that machine. <laughs> we yeah. said, was it you, Paul, who said we need to do a challenge show? Oh, I'd love that. We'll get you against <laughs> Kerry. Oh. When we're allowed to do, um, when we're allowed to, you know, be closer. I'll be in the middle. We need a clock, <laughs> and we can do like how much can you make in thirty minutes? Oh, that would be that would be so funny. If she's watching, I bet she's like, yeah, she'd like <laughs> that. I'm with you, Kerry. Bring it, bring <laughs> it on. So again, hold the end, hold the dart bit, only a little waft, a little waft, <laughs> and then open out the seams. The, uh, the blue colourway, just so you know, is now sold out. Well, I don't know if you managed to get that. The one behind Delphine is limited. That's your Wildflower Woods, which is £98.99. Pound, sorry, and 99 pence. If you do love those solid colours, definitely make the most of the lime green bundle because that's, um, again, got a great saving. It's got a great saving. To, you could go onto our website and, and put together your own sort of bundle. Remember, you're going six and a half metres. But 
What I love about this is the colours you know are going to work together and actually, even though you get in the book as well, the price on the fabric alone is actually discounted today in the bundle. Just 49.99. Book on its own is 8.99. So if you have got loads of fabric at home and you're thinking, right, actually, I've got the perfect fabric already for this, grab the book. It's only £8.99 and there's lots of projects in there. Maybe you managed to get any of the Lynette Anderson, who look completely different in the uh, Lewis and Irene's or the Moders. Your William Morris. Amazing. Okay, so I've just trimmed off the little dog ears and then you will add on. So to finish each of your blocks, you're going to need another bit of taking of your white fabric. So again, if you are using your own fabrics, make sure this is your lightest bit or something that's really going to stand out. Okay. So you'll line up the bottom corner and you see where that point is there. Try and get yeah. that as close to that seam as possible. Then that way it's not going to be wonky. Okay, excuse me, coffee. <laughs> okay, so again, you're going to need a pencil or a pen. Um, and you will draw a line from that corner to that corner. Because that's your sew line. Now, you're not going to be sewing at the side of it. You're going to be sewing along that line. Okay. So I'm just going to mark up the other ones while I'm here. So again, so we can just do them all in the one go. Lots of people loving the idea of doing a sew off, like Bake Off. Oh, I haven't watched it yet, so please don't tell me. I know, I've not, I didn't know it was on, so no, I'm so on. glad you How said. Did you not know? It's been all over my news feed constantly. Like it's starting, it's starting. So yeah, I'm going to watch that later on this afternoon. Yeah, well, that Liz, be. morning, Liz. Loving Delphine patchwork Aww. samples in the red. Have to say, red is my favourite colour. In fact, actually, just bringing that blender in, just bringing that red mottle effect, the mix of red really stands out doesn't it it does it really makes especially when i can i can see it now it really makes it pop doesn't it absolutely it brings out even the, in the cream fabric there's the, the tiny tiny little bit, bit of pink, pink in the center and it really makes it come out doesn't it absolutely in fact it's weird that you say from a distance because i when i stood close to the crew it looks completely different to when you see it on the screen doesn't it? yeah. it's nice to see it at different angles and and the in proper light not yeah. with, you know with them being at home it's brilliant okay Oh, I just thought I'm matching all these blues today. In fact, somebody just said, um, it was that who, sorry? Liz. Liz, she also said, did you make the, uh, <laughs> the jacket you're wearing? No. <laughs> she actually loves it. Thank you. Uh, it. But no, her rather popular high street shop. It looks really nice. Yeah, but no. She says, keep calm and carry on sewing. Yeah, that's it though, isn't it? Keep calm and carry on sewing on live television, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a bit different, isn't it, Liz? It is. Keep calm and carry on sewing. Yeah. On live telly, you're used yeah. to it now. You're a seasoned pro. It's just a bit of sewing. It's just a bit. As you know, I still get nervous though. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to sew along that line. I don't know why you get nervous. You have no reason to be nervous because you are amazing. Oh, thank you. So are you. We love you. Oh, yeah. They're so lovely here. <laughs> they're so kind. Paul made me a coffee this morning and everything. Aww. He's lovely. What are you saying, Kat? Sandra, morning. Oh no, it's gone now. Kat has literally got about 15 tabs open because we're now on Facebook Live. We're now on YouTube Live as well, live chat. Is the blue quilt in the book? Yeah, this is the yeah. same one. So this is this is what's crazy, isn't it? It looks completely different in different colourways, doesn't it? The blue option's sold out. Um, but I suppose you could make up your own blue bundle on the website if you want the six and a half metres of fabric. But the spin wheels, it's exactly the same. It's the same project. It's crazy, isn't it, how different it looks. There's still availability of the grey and the lime and still availability, well, I say very limited availability of the one behind our feet. Yeah, you're very clever about putting all the different bundles together with all the different colours mm -hmm. on the website, isn't it? So you just, even if you're not too sure, just going on there and just picking any yeah. of those out. So I've chain pieced those together. So the bunting's getting bigger. Uh, there we are. Okay, so we're going to trim these up. So again, using that quarter inch again, line up on the line that you actually drew. So you're not going to cut along your drawn line, you're going to cut quarter inch to the side of it. So I don't want you to throw those bits away. We're going to keep those. Okay. I love these scrap buster ideas. But it's just such a waste, isn't it? And I don't like wasting no, things. No, absolutely. 
Uh, this is why I managed to sew that cushion in 30 minutes. Oh, the cushion, by the way, which you can't really see as well. We'll have a look at it, in a, it bit, in a bit, uh, because it is just basically, it's not the project we're making today. This no. is Delphine's sort of scrap buster scrap idea. Well, you, you'll still have availability in the, you'll still have enough fabric in the bundle to be able to do with what you want. And Delphine has um, made a lovely cushion as well. So because you've got these and they've already perfectly uh, cut to yeah. size, and they're already the right size facing, depending on if you've got a pattern, you know, like I did with that one. So these are your off-cut triangles that we've just yeah. trimmed off? Yeah, so whenever you've got all these little off-cuts, whenever you've got a little sewing project like this going on the go, don't throw them away, just take a couple of minutes and just to quickly sew them together. And you can use them at a later project. Whether You could use them for, if you did lots of these, they'd be really good to do as a border around right. the quilt. Oh, nice. So that would be really lovely. Um, even if at each project you start building up these little squares, then you could just use them like great scrap crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you've got your other little stuff. Yeah, nice little And bunch. you just keep that, you just put that in your stash, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a sec. Right then, what am I doing? Quilting. Angelina said good morning. She loves watching you so. Oh, you're so morning. Great. Oh, they're very nice this morning. She says you're a great demonstrator. <laughs> Not the start of this one, I wasn't. <laughs> no, you are. Uh, so I know I'm I know I'm ironing it over to the the light, but it's only because I want to. Um, if you weren't, Paul would tell you. He would actually. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Don't you worry, you would know." Oh bless it. <laughs> so I'm just going to give these a press. So as you can see, just start at the back, and then you can really get in with the nose of the iron, making sure that they're all. Uh, there we go. Okay. So then I would trim the block to a six inch square. Uh, are they much bigger than that? Is it much that needs to come off? No. no. It depends how accurate you are at sewing. So, but but even if you if even if they are a bit wonky, don't worry about it because obviously okay. a lot of the triangles are cut on the bias. Mm -hmm. So when you do come to move the. Uh, sew them together you can manipulate it a little bit you don't want to stretch the fabric but you right. can give it a little bit of yeah bit of a an elbow in the right direction i don't so. think we've got any best press available on the web at the moment i think it's completely sold out but if you have got it at home by edges it's good to give it a bit of a spritz especially at that stage yeah. yeah so then you obviously take a look in the book is there a layout diagram there yeah. to know which way yeah they yeah go? there's a layout in there and well, there's the two. So there's, there's this one and that one. Look at that. That, that was really, really cool. The table there. runner looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it would be nice as a bed runner. That'd be nice at the yeah. bottom of like a single bed, wouldn't it? Yeah, just put an extra couple of blocks on there. Yeah. That'd be really lovely. Nice I suppose actually, project. is it quite easy to be able to put more blocks on? You know, some quilts are kind of hard to upscale or make smaller. No. This one just can keep adding. No. Away. So obviously, I've made the four here. So these four different squares will make up one block. Oh, so brilliant. you just make another one of those and you just yeah. continue it on. You you could even quilt it as you go, especially if you're doing a runner. And if you are new and you're not, you know, especially when you are new, you get a bit put off by a big quilting yeah. project, especially yeah. if you haven't got a lot of throat space on your machine. So yeah. doing it as a runner uh, will be a really good, um, simple project. And yeah. like I say, quilting as you go is even easier, isn't it? So we're going to put them together. So as you can see, I've already laid it out. So I will sew this one onto the top here. And as you can see, there's no seams here that you have to worry about. Ah, oh, no points to match. No points to match. So again, you just have them all sandwiched on top of one another, making sure they're going the right way. And let's get these sewn. And just line them up as you go along. to the floor. Let's get that Lovely. Okay, so I would give these a, another press because th this is where you want these two points to match. Okay. So I am going to get the iron back out. So you want, definitely want to uh, press at this stage. We've got loads of time. I think we've got about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. Oh, plenty. Nice time. 
There's less than five of the kits remaining behind Delphine, just so you know. So if you have got it in your basket, don't wait to the end of the demo. I would absolutely be making the most of it. Check out as soon as you can. Don't forget, you also do get the instructions, the book included, not just one project, price per project is less than sort of 60p a project, which is brilliant, 16 plus design options. And the great thing about Annie's quilting is, I mean, they are really, really affordable, but you get still fantastic information. It's still really, really easy, clear. really, really clear. Yeah, and because you don't want to be overwhelmed by two, even, even me, I've, I've been so in for, for years, but I still get, overwhelmed by if I open a pattern and there's just too much information I That's tend to it. flick to the next one yeah whereas that one you know you, it's going to be very simple and easy to, to work yeah. through so even though this one says confident beginner even on some of the ones that are a bit more difficult in their in their books they're just again you wouldn't think that they were uh, the next level right okay. just the way the instructions have been laid out uh, so you're pressing these seams yes. open? Yes, so usually I press just to the one side but whenever I match points together I press them open only because you can really you can get a good um, eye for it then okay. you can really see it because you really want these to be quite nice and sharp if you were having some uh, if you had one that had a lot of pattern in it uh, then I won't worry so much but because these are so bold yeah you really want to make sure that those points are perfect okay so now I don't need you at the moment that can go down there so that just double check your layout and then you will flip. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's oh, good, isn't it? That looks really good. That's really striking, isn't it? Absolutely. So you pop the that on top. And now this is where you really, if you are a pinner, this is where you go and reach for those pins because you want to make sure that those seams line up perfectly. And then we're going to finish the block. good thing about this machine as well it's got that needle down setting hasn't it so yeah. now you readjust so if you're not pinning you can stop and just check that everything's in the right place that's it and have a bit of a play with it move it around there we go and we're back on it. facebook by the way sorry i don't know what happened a little technical blip but we're back on facebook thank you for staying with us thanks for your patience I say, you know sometimes when you move house and there's little things that you think, oh, hang on, that worked in my house before, the internet, and then now I've moved another place and it's just different. So we had a bit of a teething problem for the last week trying to get on Facebook. We're on today, first day that we're live on Facebook, and then it's just come up again, you're live on Facebook. I said, oh, were we not on? But I think it's uh, had a little glitch for a few minutes. Thank you. So I'm just going to press these open. So you want that bit to be nice and flat. Um, just do that nice quick. If you're at home, you'll take your time on that bit. The whole thing, really good press. And that is your block. How good's that? It looks amazingly striking. There we are. So that would even be a lovely cushion front, wouldn't it? Or mm. bag front. I mean, you don't need to just think of massive quilts. Don't overwhelm yourself. Yeah. And especially if you knew, I'd start with that. Like you say, I always do one to start with and you just put a few borders on yeah. it and then uh, like I say a nice quick 15 minute yeah you're project. building up all these ideas I am Kerry <laughs> I'm coming for you <laughs> <laughs> for <our laughs> so she'll, she'll probably call me later we go right I, let's okay. do this we're um in fact we're doing a bake-off here we're going to all do a like a week bake-off we're all doing a sweepstake so yeah. I definitely think we should do a sew-off as definitely. well definitely yeah you need a, count, a countdown clock though definitely yeah, it needs some music in the background, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, the cat. So, here's one I prepared earlier. Fabulous. So again, we so obviously on the what the quilt behind me, the one that I made, um, you can do it with the eight. So I've done, yeah. So I've did four rows of four, and you can do. You, ke you can keep going. The, there's mm -hmm. so much fabric. You can just keep going. You can make a super king easily. I think that to to do with the bed. Wow. So but this one, because obviously we're. Um, we're doing all right, push for time. We're all right. We're okay. So I'm just minutes. doing a nine, a nine block quilt. So it'd be quite nice for a little bed or something. So again, make sure you're happy with your layout. And again, back to meeting up those seams. And what you'll do, you'll sew them all in rows. So, okay. you, so you commit to how many um, blocks you want on each row yeah. and then just sew the rows together like that. 
Lorraine's message saying she loves your demo. She oh. said morning. Morning. What's the weather like out there? Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? <sighs> it's not good. The weather is grey and miserable today. It was raining this morning, which isn't good. I suppose we have had we've been we very, have been very spoiled, lucky to have a we? lovely weather, but it has gone. Great. Well, I'm glad uh, I've just asked what sewing machine Delphi is using. This is the 680 plus, isn't it a dream? Beautiful. <gasps> this is uh, definitely oh, going to feature in my new sewing room, I think. Oh, it it might actually be this one. I might take. Um, there we are. I will actually, when I do finally move in uh, and we start the, the sewing room, I will actually put up a few pictures mm -hmm. as a before and after when it's done so you can see where I actually sit and spend oh, most of my brilliant. life. Yeah. So at the moment it's just a big space behind a garage. It will look nice. Oh, I get such envy on Facebook fan page. Some people, oh, she I'm sheds. And does, oh, their sewing rooms are amazing. I'm still on the dining room table, I will. I will one day have a craft room. In fact, Kieran did say that to me. We were looking, you know, does anybody else just do like, get a bit of a, a rabbit hole of right move and oh, yeah. looking at houses and dreaming and being yeah. like, imagine if I had that, Kieran was like, this is going to be your craft room. I'm like, please don't say things like that because this would be literally my dream. I, I'm still on right move now, even though we've bought <laughs> yeah. a house. It's like, get off Addictive. right move. What are you doing? We're not moving. I'm, like, I'm just looking. Okay, so this is one row that I've sewn together. I think I'm just nosy, really. We, um, oh, you know, when, during lockdown, when everybody's been, uh, a lot of the you know telly shows when they're, I saw Anton Dex House from Home and different yeah. things like that. You do start it's the looking, kitchen. don't you? That's looking the room the I look for. Yeah. It's all about the kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> uh, We're all the same. We are. Like, you like nosing at other people's decor. You go, <laughs> what's not? I'm quite lucky, the lady that we bought the house off, she's got a beautiful eye for interior design, so I haven't got to do anything. Oh, fantastic. Well over half the book on its own has sold out, so if you do want the book surprised. on its own, it's, it's, it is really a good value for money, isn't really it? Really good, really good. So easy, so simple to follow, and uh, even for me, <laughs> I'm doing things like this. <laughs> we'll get rid of that one. <laughs> that never happened. Right then, so I'm just tidy enough. You've done so much prep for this as well, by the way. I mean, you can tell how much you love this kit because you've I done just keep your going. quilt, your yeah. table runner, your cushion, and all of this as well. So I'm going to just... We've got, we've got time for me to Absolutely. say this. Absolutely. I'm really excited to see what this looks like together. So again, this is where you want to make sure all your points meet. So if, if you have time, take some time just to pin them. We've got 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to see yours in the solid block colours as well. I know that the uh, the blues are sold out, but send in photographs when you've made it up or uh, in the lime green, there's still availability as well. There was uh, someone on the Sewing Street Facebook page. I did the Irish pansy quilt um, yeah. last time I was on and uh, and someone put one a picture of that up and it looks stunning. So, oh. yeah, make sure they put the pictures up because I get well, I get really excited when yeah. I see someone make something that Oh, I've yeah, made. we all look, don't we? It's great. Yeah. There we are. So I'm just tidying up a little bit. There we are. Right, I'm going in. <laughs> Committed now. And like you say, definitely needle down position when you're quilting. Mm -hmm. It's just the points that you're matching on the corner of each block. Just the corners, it? yeah. Okay. So it's not an awful lot of um, matching, really. And if you ha if you if you using a pattern fabric, you can get away with it. Yeah. So don't beat yourself up about it. Oh, Sonia, we need to come up to Aberdeen. She she says it's lovely and sunny still there. Oh. Grey and miserable in the Midlands here. Um, have you been to Aberdeen here before? Kat? No. I thought you said me then. No, have you? Sorry, you've I'm not been. No, I'm sorry. Kat down, was just I'm saying when <laughs> she's been, she loved it. I've never oh, been lovely. in Delphi. I love Scotland. It's beautiful. I love Scotland. I would love to. That's one of my sort of ambitions is to go and travel all the highlands like the Isle of oh. Skye and Loch Lomans and do all of that. I've Could done be um, Ben Nevis before oh, lovely. and Fort William, pre-children. You climbed it? Yeah, I've done the three peaks. <gasps> I did it back when I was in the police. Honestly, what a woman, what a woman. Oh, I couldn't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it now. We still are, uh, that's my girl. There's still, um, there's still time for us to go. Have you, talked, have you uh, been doing your classes, your spin class this week? Yeah, I did that on Monday. 
Yeah. Cat's like, please, can you not mention it? Because we're avoiding it. <laughs> we really want to go. go. I've told Carol. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, no. So she knows that you can. So she knows I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, I did that on Monday morning. Carol's a centre of jewellery maker and she's one of uh, Delphine's regulars at Body Combat and Spin, does she do? She does my Body Combat. Body Combat. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be doing spin now. Oh, but no! No, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> What's harder, spin class or sewing on live television? <laughs> sewing on live television. <laughs> you sweat a lot more, I tell you. <laughs> more calories. You certainly do. My, uh, even my watch will probably tell me I've had a workout later. Yeah. <laughs> so your heart rate was up. Uh, it will have that peak of my heart rate going up when I so, when I just cut that triangle in half. Do you get to use one of those like Britney Spears um, microphones, head mic? Yeah, usually I always wear oh, one, so but at cool. the moment I'm not because you don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so at the moment I don't, but I. I I'm quite good at pre-queuing before. Okay. So it's all about the music, isn't it? If you yeah. know your music, then it, it's... Um, but even in that, you know, I make mistakes in that, but they're much easier to cover up. <laughs> Spin classes are brutal though, aren't they? Oh, anybody yeah. done it at home? It's horrible. <laughs> and it's boiling as well. It makes you so hot. Me and Paul went through a stage years ago going to hot yoga. Have you been to that one Ooh. before? That was... That gets steamy, doesn't it, Paul? <laughs> No, I can't know anything like that. No, I'm, uh, no I, I, I'm an absolute mess when I come out of the gym. I've got mascara down me. Because obviously I go in yeah. there looking all... Because you're at the yeah. front, you want to make sure you look presentable, <laughs> not like you've just fallen out of bed. <laughs> and uh, you go in there and I'm, you've got my hair up and I've got my makeup on, I finish, I've got mascara down here. Oh, got, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's always like, hey, you've sat on a towel on the, in the car on the way home. <laughs> it's like, he's like that. Oh, get up, shower. But no, I'm uh, not as fit as I was. I do enough. I do enough now just to keep keep everything moving. But no. Kat's replying to your Facebook messages, by the way. Is she? It's to Alison. Alison Marion. Oh, hello. Oh, she says that Kat needs uh, doggy walking bags soon. Absolutely. They're lovely, the Alice and Marion kits. I wonder if there's any on the website still. They're really, really nice. I saw those. They were so cute. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Kat literally just got her puppy yesterday. Oh. You have to follow him on Instagram. Rudy underscore the miniature schnauzer. Is it Rudy with an I or a Y? Rudy with an I. Oh. You're supposed to be getting them at Christmas, but because of the lockdown sort of restrictions that are happening, um, they've got him early. Well, you're better off having him now because uh, do you remember when lockdown it was uh, did begin? Everyone was walking their dogs, and yeah. apparently everyone was buying puppies so yeah. they could get away with walking their dog outside. Oh, who's this? Sorry, <laughs> Wendy. Has she put it on the Facebook page? Oh, well, she okay, on the Facebook chat. This yeah. isn't this isn't Wendy Orlando because I know Wendy Orlando does a lot of spinning. I'm not going to say exactly what you've put, but please read Wendy's message. She did um, a spin once in something you ached for a while. I, for a while. I know exactly what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn said, Delphine, you're a breath of fresh air. Oh, thank you, Lynn. She says, I'm pleased that it's, um, it's me that not only... That it's, what, sorry? And please, it's not only me that cuts without sewing the fabric first. Yeah, you know when I say that, measure twice, cut once. Yeah, that's your motto. I can't even take my own advice. Right, can we change that? You've even <laughs> got it in the advert. It's been going out. I know, I know. I'm taking the mick out myself. Cause, <laughs> Do as she yeah. says, not as she does. Like you don't give me over. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So there we are in the blues. So that's nine blocks, isn't it? That's a nine block, Nine yeah. blocks together. So and that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And then, I suppose, with quilting options... Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, don't look too close at my quilting, because <laughs> this I literally just whip, whipped up. Um, so I'll pop that. Shall I pop that at the front so you can Lovely, see? thank you. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> thank you. Is that you. all right, Paul? There yeah. OK, so a little bit of quilting. So this is where I, I, I don't want Paul to come in too, <laughs> to come in too close. 
So I did think little about quilting options. So I did just come up with a few little ideas about oh, just brilliant. doing a bit of echo quilting. So if you just use the quarter inch seam or uh, just use the, uh, the little tip of your foot there, just following the lines in a, in a contrasting thread. So Absolutely. the threads on that early bird, I think like using the different blues. So maybe the different light, light ones on the darker side mm -hmm. and then switching to a darker colour on the lighter fabrics. Yeah. And then just by playing around with the angles. I mean, how cool is that? That's yeah. just like, looks really... That would look amazing. That is really, really gorgeous. The, um, the early bird graphics are in, by the way. They're just twelve ninety nine for 10 of the spools. And these will go perfectly with this quilt, yeah, but also the Highland Calvon that you're going to get later. We're going to be um, dipping into this as well. Only twelve ninety nine. Loads of these have sold already this morning. I suppose we all need thread, and this is like you sort of sew all thread, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I uh, my needle felt, and I use those for the finer details for my embroidery as well. Oh, fantastic! Because the colours are so so vibrant. They are lovely, amazing. That's so good to know. So it really is sew all. And then using bits that are left over. Yeah. So using bits that are left over. So you have all. So do you remember the little bits of bunting that we yeah. put together? So if you let me just tidy up make a bit of room you'll have about 40 of these if you make the full size quilt oh fantastic and you just give them a bit of a press and you give them you just cut off the dog ears and you can just do loads of really cool patterns it doesn't really matter let's let's have a, have a bit quite, of play yeah so like that one here so this one I did um, put the the, the, the dark colour in the middle and then just made, that was really easy to make. I literally just sewn the strips together. So that's four strips sewn together. And oh then wow. I just used an off cut of the border and on the side. And do you have enough to do the back as well? And envelope back. You yeah. have enough to do the back? That's so good. Yeah, but there's loads of these. So it'd be really cool to see if somebody's, uh, uh, the people who bought this kit, then, uh, you know. Yeah, what can you make? What can you make? A challenge. What can you make with your off cuts? Oh, good idea. Challenge yeah. accepted. So, you can, yeah, let's have a look at, I mean, there's all sorts you can do. In fact, I'm not going to give too much away, but just by lining them all up, you can see just by a very simple pattern. Maybe we do that with our ready, steady sew, our sew off. We can do, um, right, what can you do with the, you know, like they did on Ready, Steady, Cook, where they just give you the random yeah. thing for ingredients. And so you what can you do with The it? leftovers from your yeah. projects. That's a really good idea. So just by laying yeah. them out in different, different uh, patterns and sewing them together. But you've got loads of those. That would make if you had, a, again, a, a, like a rectangle cushion and then did a bit of piping around with maybe one of the other blues. And on that, in the centre of the bed with the uh, the quilt at the bottom. Yeah. That would just look so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Thank you so no much. No problem. Love that kit. <sighs> Do I even talk about the next hour? I'm, I'm nervous to talk about it anymore because I'm scared that we'll get to it and there will be literally nothing to, to, to sell. But it'll be great because we can do just a question and answers with Delphine and just spend the whole hour yeah. making, which would be nice. Lovely. You haven't yet missed out. If you've absolutely loved this cushion over the last few months, you've probably seen them on the fan page or on our, our Facebook page. I know so many people have made them at home. And if you've made it at home already over the last couple of months, I'm guessing that you've had friends and family that have asked you, where on earth did you get that? Or can you make me one? Or why not get them to make their own? It's a really, really lovely project, which with the template at home, you will be able to achieve it. Now, what I love about the, the instructions today, well, for the first time ever, we're doing them on their own, never offered the pattern on their own, so you can use whatever fabrics you want. Uh, but it isn't just the Highland cow. I know the Highland cow has been really, really popular, but also, how popular is the unicorn going to be? It's, it's not a matter of choosing which one you want to do. You get both patterns in your instruction set for £12.99. Haven't even launched the graphics. We haven't told you the item code, but I think a lot of people have been typing in the word Highland Cow on the website and being able to find them. So do check out as soon as you can because we're coming back in an hour. So thank you ever so much, Delphine. Oh, knocking everything around. We'll see you in an hour. Yeah, we shall sure. see you in an hour. That's going to be amazing. Now, just a quick recap of the kit that we're using. Obviously, the blue is now gone. Let me move that to the side. Uh, we're going to start with the green and lime. I don't want this one to pass you by because it's going to look equally as striking, I think, as the blues. Uh, you've got your silver, which, in fact, let's start with the grey because that's your most. You get two and a half metres of your dark grey. You then get your silver, which you have, is, I think it's a metre and a half. Yeah, a metre and a half of that. Plus then this beautiful jade. That is gorgeous. A metre and a half of this one. 
and then you also get a meter of line and I must say they will look gorgeous you are going to have plenty of fabric here to have a real good play through the book and see what you want to make whether you're going to watch the demo back from today uh, and use the instructions to create the the, the, uh, the projects that Delphine's done or whether you want to try one of the other eight quilt projects that are in here the 16 different design ideas uh, well plus in fact there's the one that we were doing today it's called spin wheels which looks completely different in the different colorways doesn't it it's gonna look brilliant 49.99 every template that you need uh, there's a bit of uh, foundation paper piecing in here as well and uh, the Wildflower Woods range, which was the one that you've seen already made up. We've had so many compliments on this. Just bringing in that red really makes a difference, doesn't it? Just a metre of that lovely claret, uh, which is slightly sort of mottled just really makes all of the fabrics pop and if i'm honest when you see it like this you think oh is that going to work and it really really does our team are fantastic at putting together kits like this so one of my favorite fabrics two and a half meters even if you've got a different project in mind grab this one because it's a lovely bundle uh, from the washington street studios it, they are stunning quality as delphine said at the start meter and a half of your square dot meter and a half of your cream sunflowers and then a metre of your claret, £98.99. Plus, remember, you do get your book in the kits as well, so no need to get them separately. If you do want it on its own, that's a really, really limited, literally down to the last couple of those. If you do want the book on its own, you absolutely can. It's only £8.99. Annie's Quilting books are already, well, they're always very, very popular, and we're already down to single figures of this one. So if you do want the book on its own, now is the time to check out, just £8.99. I've got a feeling this will be the last chance that you see it, and um, it's new in today, which is exciting. Hopefully we'll get to do some more projects from in there, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you make. Now, coming up, we're going to be bringing you some brand new fabrics. We've got some of your favourites as well, all coming up, so don't go anywhere. We're back after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. 
Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie and I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Welcome back, welcome back. How is everybody this morning? Thank you so much for your company. What an amazing day already. Don't we just love her? Delphi, she's amazing. Um, it's not long now until we do the Highland Cow, the Highland Cow. Uh, so we do projects every single day here, normally two projects a day. And yet, as soon as you say the Highland Cow, every single person knows exactly what we're talking about. And I love that, how much chaos it's caused. It's just brilliant. We haven't seen it for two months. Uh, that's how long it's taken to be able to get it back. And we are very excited to be bringing you those at 11 o'clock. Now, the kits that we had put together have completely sold out this morning. So I'm ever so sorry if you're just tuning in. Uh, they were there ready waiting. Everybody who wanted them were there ready waiting this morning. Don't forget, though, you can absolutely get them um, with the instructions on their own for the first time today. So we'll be launching those patterns at 11 o'clock. You can eagle eyes. I've always spotted them on the website to absolutely check out as soon as you can on those, if I were you. Uh, also, just quickly, as I know a lot of people are making the most of the brilliant offer that we have today on the 550. It comes with an array of goodies, uh, including the Handmade Touch Book for free. This is for free. You get the inspiration on Handmade Touch Book. You get Christmas 3 panel you also get the design roll panel you also get oops your Janome uh, little snips uh, you have your Janome bobbins all included with the amazing machine now this machine comes with a great array of feet and and features and functions are standard it also comes with an extension table comes with a two-year warranty uh, but it's only while the sort of stocks that we've been given last there's a limited number of these machines remaining very limited that we can offer with the 55 with the 55 pounds worth of goodies as well um, we absolutely love it I know that you've probably seen this machine a lot over the last few weeks all of our demonstrators have been using it so we just thought do you know what this is the machine that we want to encourage everybody potentially to start sewing or to try different projects. If you're upgrading to your first computerised machine or whether this be a second machine that you have, it's still got a great array of, 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 um, of stitches. And what I love about it as well is that the great thing about a computerised machine, I must say, 
do not let that word put you off. I know that a lot of us get a bit scared when you say it's computerised. You think, oh, no, 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 I'm going to mess it up. It's not for me. I'm not going to be able to do it. I didn't want to go to a computerised machine for so long. I just wanted the one with the dial on the front that you change the stitch. But what's amazing with this is that it's so user friendly. And also, as soon as you turn it on and you choose which stitch you want by going with these arrows, which stitch you want from the stitch card at the side, it will automatically move the needle to where it needs to be and it will tell you what foot it needs to be on the screen. Um, so it, it, you can, it defaults to the re recommended stitch width and stitch length for the one that you've asked for, but you can override it if you want. So even though there's 50 stitches, actually some of these sat satin stitches that you open out can look completely different if you widen the stitch. So it, it's a really good one to sort of have a bit of a play around with. And trust me, it's, it's one you can't go wrong with. It comes with an extension table, comes with a huge array of feet and uh, uh, as I said, different features anyway. I was going to say, um, uh, what was I going to say? It was in my head at the start and I can't remember it now. What did you just tell me, Kat? You just went to say something about the machine and I can't remember what. Oh, that was what I was going to say. When um, we get guest designers who come in to demonstrate, the first thing that we ask them is, what machine would you like to use? We've got a huge array of machines. We've got the Dukey. We've got the different Elna machines available. And uh, a lot of the times people have just said, look, I just want your, you know, the Elna, the most simple machine. It's still going to be robust and it's still not going to be, it's not going to be jumping around your, your, your sewing room table. It is going to be really, really lovely and stable, yet it's still nice and portable. So if you do have a dedicated sewing space, absolutely, it's going to be brilliant. But if you do, like me, sew on the dining room table and you need to put it away when it's dinner time, it's easy to, to pack away and it comes with a nice hard cover. Uh, so that's just £499, which is a great price anyway. I know a lot of people have ta uh, taken advantage of that deal over the last two days, so I just wanted to remind anybody that might not have seen it yet, £55 worth of goodies for free. I love a freebie, I do indeed. I love a good deal like that. Just want to warn you because I think when they're gone, we might have run out of our stock of the 550. It isn't just a limited number that we can do with the bundle. It's literally all right. This is all of our 550 stock. We'll try and get more, we will try and get more, but do make the most of that deal whilst you can. Um, remember the two panels, the bobbins, the snips, and the handmade touch book. Uh, just talking of deals today, early bird special. I've been talking about a lot and we're actually gonna keep continuing to talk about throughout the show as, as we welcome back Delphine in the next hour, because I know that she's using this lovely bright green with her uh, Highland cow. So I'm just looking at this lovely bundle that is coming up and just seeing some of these lovely blues and greens that are going to look amazing. Now we're going to talk about this bundle in a minute, but the early bird special today is your sew all 50 weight Guterman thread. You get 10 all with 100 meters on each spool. Gorgeous selection of greens. Sorry Paul. Um, with the Christmassy greens, your lovely lime green, your teal and your peacock plus you're then getting all of these amazing deep blues. They're all numbered as well, so if you do want to purchase them again on the uh, bottom of each ball or the top of each ball, it'll have a little number. So if there's one particularly that you really, really like and you're doing a, a big quilt with it and you want to get it again, you can get them. Generally, uh, Guterman spools tend to sell, I've found between 170 a spool, up to say two pounds. 170-ish, uh, you might be able to get it slightly low in some of the value packs, but today with the early bird special, we're down as low as £1.29 a spool. Brilliant price at 12 99 so lots of people taking advantage of that this morning. I've had a message from Joyce. Morning, Joyce, how are you? No, oh, it's not. I'm really sorry to everyone who's asked about Delphine's kimono. It was available from a um, high street shop, she said. But I think we all wanted it as the pattern, didn't we? It's absolutely gorgeous, that kimono style. I've got a feeling that we've had a lot of people asking that before, last time she wore it. There might be a kimono pattern on the website. I'm wondering whether Fiona's is on there, because she's got a Fio uh, Fiona Hesford's got um, So Girl patterns. She's got some kimonos. I'll have a look. Uh, right, now these are all individual, but look at how amazing they look together. I'm just thinking with the quilt that we had in the last hour, how nice will this look? Or oh, what about the fraction quilt that sold out the pattern, sold out the Luorth pattern at eight o'clock? These are all gorgeous. Let's start with the blues. Let's dive in with these blues as we were talking about them with the Gutemans. Code, please, is HBLJ28. 
This is called denim. Um, it's, it is 100% cotton, it's quilting weight cotton, and it, it just has that denim blue colour. But how lovely is this for a sky or sea, a background? It's beautiful. Great thing about this mixer range that we launched, um, these will always be on the website. These are, are staple sort of parts of our website now. So if you do want to sort of purchase more of this, this is your chance now to get it by the half metre and we'll cut it off the bolt for you. And hopefully if you want it again, you'll be able to come back and get the exact colour. We are going to have to fly through these. Look at your price. We're less than £4 a half metre. Stock up on your blue. I know in the last hour, all of the blue kits completely sold out. So um, blue is very, very popular indeed. We've got another shade of blue, which is called Peacock, I believe. Um, it's MWLJ65. I'm just going to put it next to it so you can see the difference in colour. Uh, it's only very slightly. So this was the denim and this is Peacock, which is a slightly more sort of... Um, do you think it's got more of like a, a, a peacocky green, like a, a, a deep aquary turquoise? <sighs> £3.99 a half metre. It's 112, <laughs> 112 wide. Sorry, let me just fold this one as well. <laughs> do you say it like cat as well? Turquoise. Turquoise. Turquoise, turquoise, uh, 112 wide, £3.99. It adds a big texture, doesn't it? Without being sort of texture to the eye, it's texture, uh, sorry, texture to the touch, it's texture to the eye. You could even do your unicorn on one of these backgrounds. You could have this as your main body or the pink, let's do pink next, because you could do that beautiful unicorn on the top of, of this one. Whatever cat, whatever cat wants to do, we've got a real lovely bright pink, which is WGLJ52. Uh, so £3.99 for that beautiful, almost like cotton candy pink. Has anybody else tried the cotton candy grapes yet? I've had punnets and punnets the last few days. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I love all oh, these grapes, they're amazing. <laughs> 3.99 half metre. Oh dear. That lovely bright pink, it is so, so pretty. And I'm thinking, hang on, stay there. Just thinking, imagine with your background, adding your unicorn on the top. That could be your background. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Let's see. I'm just having a look at the, the Highland Cow. Oh, no, not... Right, we're on it. Instructions at the moment say out of stock on the website. Sorry, that was a real sort of like divery moment. Like, oh, no, no. Um, it's already sold out once today. Um, right, we will do our best. We're going to do our best to try and get some more. Let me put this one up. Uh, absolutely, let's jump to purples. I'm going to go for, I've got three shades of purple. This one's O, sorry, QJLJ80, please. Let me show you the three, sorry, the three colours. There's your three different purples. This is like more of a bluey purple. This is Blackberry. If you do want a bundle uh, of fabrics, of your blues and purples as well. Watch tomorrow's show. Watch tomorrow's show because we, oh, sorry, because that's my fault. I was just sitting down. Three pounds, I just saw a big close up of my nose. Three pounds, 99. It's not our Paul, it's not Paul, it was my fault. That's like deep um, chocolate box purple, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Let me put my unicorn cushion away because I want everybody to see it. Um, it's got almost like, it looks like a velvety texture almost. It's not, it's just the printing. It's like a bit of a mottle effect, which is really, really nice. But uh, it just adds texture, doesn't it? Again, that would look great with the cushions. Even for borders, if you want to do binding or borders around the edge of your cushions. Depending on what colours you're doing it with, because obviously now lots of people are, oh, I knew this would happen. You need charm packs for the, the project coming up in the next hour. Type in the word charm pack. See if there's any of the Lewis and Irene ones available. See what's on the, on the web. This one's UALJ19, please. This is called Purple. 
it's like quite a tanzanite blue. Those of you that love our sister channel, Gemporia, if you know, or jewellery maker, if you know tanzanite, it's like a tanzanite bluey purple. It's lovely. Have you got a tanzanite ring? Oh, I can't got a tanzanite for her 21st. It's just £3.99, and that's your lovely purple mixer. £3.99, 112, 112 centimetres wide. You've got a lovely gemstone collection by the sounds of it, a parade of tourmaline. Wow. Nice. Just £3.99. And then we've also got, I know, the lovely purple. This is like cat's car colour, isn't it? You're not updating the um, Rudy's Instagram right now, are you? <laughs> oh, so Rudy's cat's new dog, and she says uh, her family keeps sending her pictures of the dog. He's found his bed. He's happy. He was just sleeping on her dad last night, and Terry stayed up to sleep with the dog, cuddle the dog. Just three ninety nine. This is like that lovely. Um, well, it's magenta. It's called magenta. It's like a lovely pinky uh, purple. Mottle effect. You can see really clearly that mixer, can't you? Just with your solids, it adds a bit of interest. Oh, in fact, this is the only batik moda fabric that we have. If you get this, absolutely, that goes perfectly. Maybe with a blue as well. What do you think? Love that. We'll do it after we run through all of these, uh, the, all of the mixes. We're going to oranges next, please. We've got a tangerine and we've got an orange. This one looks like orange to me. It's WPLJ01, please. Yeah, this one's orange. And it's so lovely and vibrant. This is like a sunset. Because you've got almost like those burning embers, you could do the most beautiful circle with your circle cutter and um, maybe use some other dramatic colours and do like a lovely, I always see the scene of uh, using black fabric to do like the shadows of, um, you know, the famous film about the lion that was the king and also, or you could do like little elephants that are all holding tails. Do you know what I mean? That would be lovely. Uh, just £3.99. <laughs> Not the Jungle Book, no, Paul. Not Cinderella, no. Not Pinocchio. <laughs> £3.99 a half metre. That orange for, what about for um, any Halloween makes? We're entering into October, aren't we? I know Claire, who makes things in Sully Hole, she gave us lots of inspiration of different Halloween makes, didn't she? That'd be perfect. I saw Claire on Instagram do it back on the ice rink because she's a figure skater as well. I don't know how she has all the time to do what she does. She's always making. She also goes spinning classes. Um, sorry, Claire, if you're watching, she's going to think I've been um, watching all of her Instagram. I have. So she's been making lots. She's got three children and she's um, busy, busy, busy being a figure skater as well. I found that out because have you heard of, um, what's his name? Ben Hamlin. Ben Hamlin. He lives where your brother lives. Joe lives. Lives in the same village as him and he was on Dancing on Ice. And Claire said he used to, she used to see him train at Solly Hall Ice Rink. <laughs> okay, so... This is your tangerine. Oh, it's lovely, like almost corally orange, isn't it? Coral orange. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre, great quality. Bearing in mind, you know, you're looking less than two pound a fat quarter on this. It's, it is fantastic quality, quilting weight cotton. They'll look lovely with um, me and a, uh, me and Paul love this. It reminds us of a very famous designer. This would look really, really nice together with your stripe. We'll do those after the, uh, after the mode of batik. I've got green, yellow, and then like a neutral as well. My green, or the neutral, tan. Absolutely. <laughs> 112 wide for £3.99 a half metre. Oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? Again, toy making, bag making, if you want to add a bit of interest with your linings, maybe. We're all talking all things applique today with these lovely projects that we've got coming up in the next 40 minutes and counting. Where's your clock, Paul? We need the clock ready to do the countdown for this show. It's going to be 
absolutely brilliant. We're working on more instructions. Thanks for your patience. Just £3.99. That's your nude or tan, sorry. Uh, then we've got yellow. These are all John Loudon uh, collection as well. They're really, really lovely quality. This is sunshine. I know we've lost our sunshine now. In fact, if you're in Aberdeenshire, they've got lovely sunshine. Uh, £3.99 and a half metre. That colour is stunning. This would look nice as well as um, a background for your, for your cushion. You could use this as the back of your cushion, couldn't you? Just because I know it's autumn and a rainy day doesn't mean. What about for stars for, for Christmas and things like that? I know, yeah, can you tell I'm clinging on to this? It's mine. It's lovely. I do love autumn. I, I must say I love the fashion in autumn as well. All the colours and the walks, the autumnal walks. I don't, I don't particularly like the weather today. It's miserable here. It's all drizzly and grey. Not like my autumnal walks with the crunchy, crunchy nice leaves. Not soggy leaves. So that's your yellow. And then our brown, sorry not brown, green, <laughs> is called chartreuse. And I must say, actually, let me get my early bird back out again. There's been so many opportunities of using these lovely Guterman threads, this lovely greens that are going to go really, really nicely with your, with your chartreuse mixer. £3.99. That's got the most beautiful mottle effect. £3.99, 112 wide. In fact, would this go with our motor as well? Oh, absolutely. You've got lovely greens running through here. So... Take advantage of all those mixers. They're available on the website at any point. So if you do uh, want extra of a certain colour, please, please do make the most of them. Uh, the only batik fabric that we have uh, available from Moda is this one. These have been so popular. They are beautiful quality. Uh, the colour is Maui Wowie, Paul's just said. Eight ninety nine. It's psychedelic, isn't it? This is so cool. In fact, this would look amazing with the cushions for later. Uh, you need charm packs, so this would be so lovely because you've got lots of different colours as well. You could probably get away with doing, you know, your whole get a meter of it, and you could even use it as a background, or you could use it as as your applique parts. Look really beautiful as your Highland cow, wouldn't it? Uh, it is a batik fabric. Be aware. So obviously. On the reverse, you can see because of the traditional hand dyed technique um, on both sides, it's not printed fabric, it, it is hand dyed from Moda. You can use it still with your quilting weight cottons, like I was showing those mixers, absolutely. Just be aware that it is a batik. I know um, it's to wash or not to wash, that is the question with batiks. They are hand dyed, so if you are just running it through um, a hand wash, just to, to make sure that you're not getting any bleed or any different colours running. But this should be fine. I know some people who, who don't generally pre-wash uh, batik fabrics, but it's personal preference, personal preference. We had a whole range from Moda and they've all completely sold out. Uh, Kat has snapped this one up off the website as the last one left from that Maui range. Uh, we've also got the stripes, which are very designer-esque. Do you know the designer I mean? The same as, no, actually, no, not that one. I think they look just like the one that's the same as our director's name, that one. Let's go for the orange first, because I did open this one earlier. Um, I'll try and hold it really, really still so it doesn't strobe on your screen. This one is LQLJ, yeah. But this would be really, really nice for... Um, this would be really, really nice for borders. What about binding? A nice stripy binding. It is a cotton poplin weight. So it is a lighter weight poplin, uh, cotton, which means this would be beautiful for dressmaking. <gasps> it would look very designing, a designer. What about doing your cuffs just with it on a shirt or doing your collar or pockets with it? Just adding that little stripe. I love it. Your stripe's vertical as well. For three ninety nine, it looks very expensive indeed. This is your chance to buy by the half metre. What about lovely shirts, gents shirts as well? Looks very expensive indeed. Just inside of pockets on bags, it'd look really cool. Or little, um, what about like a, a messenger bag or a laptop bag? Even though it is a poplin weight, just using interfacing will give it more structure. So if you are thinking, it's lovely for dressmaking, but if you are thinking of bags, 
Grab yourself some H640 off the website or your style bill foam um, and it will give it great structure or even just your medium weight interfacing. Uh, for £3.99, that's the orange stripe. We've also got the one with the pink. Pinks and purples. We've got new fabrics, by the way, still to do this hour. We've still got new fabrics. These are your pinks and purples. It's S said, yeah, that's the right one. There we go. Sorry. Orange, green, pink, browns, yellows, black, blues. It'd be quick for me to say what colour's on in here. £3.99, a half metre. Your poplin weight, multicoloured pinks and purples. Right, grab them. They're back on the website. The, uh, the instructions are back on the web. Limited again, limited again. But if you do want the instructions, grab them now. Just want to let you know whilst I know. There's only so many times we can keep saying to Hayley, um, are we allowed to get any more? Can we do any more? And then the last one, oh, this is really nice. I think for gents projects, this is really nice. And actually it's quite autumnal, isn't it? Do you think it's a bit Christmassy? Just like a bit of a, it's almost like a, uh, I know it's a stripe, not a tartan, but it's got those colors. It would go with a tartan. <gasps> it would go with the Highland cow. What do you think? Cutting this up to use as part of your applique for the Highland cow, absolutely. And then using it as the binding, I love a stripy binding. Three pounds and 99 and a half metre, great price point. Just that poplin weight, but um, last time Sally Ann had a bundle which had quilting weight cottons and poplin weights. I did ask her, I said, did it feel different when you're quilting? And she says, to be honest, I didn't really notice much difference. So absolutely, you can still use it for your quilting and patchwork along with other weights of fabric. Uh, just three pounds, 99 and a half metre, that's your greens and blues. Lastly, before we go over to our new fabrics, We've got for you a panel. Uh, this is a great panel to have as well, to personalise things and make things really personal. Uh, we've got an alphabet panel. All of your letters, capital letters. I'll spin this round then. Um, and you've also got some extra bits and bobs at the bottom as well. So there you go. We'll go from the top and we'll show you. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, and I love the way that they're almost like shadowed as well. They look like they're standing out, don't they? Uh, all of your letters with beautiful uh, backgrounds as well. And they all coordinate really nicely. It's great, isn't it? There's loads of ideas that we've done with this over the, uh, the, last, over the last few months. We've also got the star as well. And the and, £14.99 star and the and as well, just £14.99. Uh, now, I know we've had so many lovely messages come in for our gorgeous Delphine today. Keep them coming in. Or if you've got any questions about the machines, 680 or the 550, if you've made the cushion before, let's see them. Send in your pictures, whether you did them with the Tula Pack before or whether you've tried them with different fabrics. I'm thinking doing them with the natural fat quarter pack, like the tartans and the hessians and things like that. I wonder how, how you could do that. Uh, it's studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Did you just say I just took a nice wander over? Oh, well, I'm, I'm very chilled this morning. I'm just, you know, sauntering across from one desk to another, absolutely. Uh, right, where should we start there? Brand new fabrics. Can we do these? Because these are Paul's favourite. Um, they're quite, we haven't had anything like this for ages. Now, I've got it in black and white. I'll tell you the code, Kat, um, when I can find it. It's MZU. I08, please. Do you know what it reminds me of? These are like cool newspaper listings, aren't they? We're trying to read them. I'm not sure what um, language they're in, but it's so cool. I think this is quite masculine again. It's almost um, a bit Tom, uh, Tim Holtz-esque, isn't it? Love it. Reminds me of like a, you could even do, uh, you could do like notebook covers. You can do little bits and bobs. You could absolutely dress make with this. It is Quilters Basic Harmony in White for £4.99. Um, Kat's thinking like a work dress or a skirt in this. Like a real structured skirt with a black waistband and a nice, or a, a dress with a nice collar. That'd be really cool. It's good talking points, isn't it? Just 
four pounds, 99, a half metre. Half a metre, let me just show you, looks like this. So if, even if you are doing almost like a fussy cutting with templates off this, just having those little bits of text, I think that's really cool. Just 4 99 Brand new today. Buy the half metre for £4.99. Oh, get it home. Let us know what it says. <laughs> Let us know. We don't know. I don't even know what language it is in. Telephone numbers. It's all sorts. It's just all sort of random little article, little um, almost like reminds me of advertisements in newspapers. I think a lot of people are going to ask you about it and you can say, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know what it says, but I made it myself. It is a really good talking point. This one is uh, JTU87, please. Or I, I should say, not 18. Um, this is exactly the same, this time with a black background with the white writing. Contrasting shirt, you could use it as, you know, it's obviously like the negative, isn't it, of this one. So if you were to use it with, um, with <laughs> the two together in a project, that'd look cool. Nothing else quite like this. I'm thinking for laptop covers or it looks like text off a laptop, doesn't it? Just a whole black and white quilt, monochrome quilt with it. Just four pounds, 99 and a half metre. It's brand new in today. Lots already selling. Well done if you've managed to get it by the half metre. Can we do the lovely heart? We've got so many beautiful colourways of this as well. We've got greys, we've got the pinks and the greens with the lemons, the reds, black and white, you monochrome. Let's do the monochrome. It's Q X U I 75, please. So if you manage to get those last two, what about getting your heart monochrome as well? Doesn't it look like big heart when you initially look at it? But um, it's a lovely little ditzy heart, isn't it? You've got the coloured in hearts and then you've also got the outlined ones. I'm seeing almost like diamonds with this. Do you know what I mean? You could do some really cool shapes with this as well. It's like a grid, isn't it? £4.99. You can't even see from there that they're little hearts, can you? Ah, oh, nice. That's lovely. You can see like, all the triangles, like pyramid shapes. Just £4.99 and a half metre. We've also got this one in the greys. VKUI 10, please. I think this would be lovely for a nursery. You know, a lot of, um, a lot of people who, who are having babies and they maybe don't know the sex, or even if they do know the sex, and it's really nice to be able to have the neutral colours, isn't it? This would be really, really lovely for little bunnies. What about little elephants made out of this? Little quilts. How about using it for your background of your Highland cow cushion? lots that you're going to be able to use this for that's a nice neutral gray actually it's going to go with everything oh yeah what about a little dog jacket for rudy what do you think oh marilyn thank you so much she says the text is italian paul paul that's been his job during lockdown is learning italian Io, what eo sonos percente what does that mean what have i just said on the telly if I said it correctly, then I would have said, I'm sorry. Io sono. Spicente. He does it in a lovely um, Birmingham accent. He says, that's why I stopped. Oh, no, don't let me put you off. He said, I couldn't just do the Brummy Italian. It isn't that sexy, is it? <laughs> 14.99. <laughs> I love that the phrase that you've learned is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Another phrase that he's learned is, there's a spider in the sugar. <laughs> you don't need to know that. I've never seen a spider in my sugar, ever. I'm really relieved I haven't, but. So that's your grey. Um, yeah, big spider. <laughs> The, remember the big spider in the old studio? This is the good thing about being here in this new building. Touch wood, I've not really seen any spiders. And if I did see one, I wouldn't have to come off air. I can just go over to the other place. It's fine. 
Although Joe's good at getting spiders away. Oh no, he was rubbish actually. He was as scared as us. Cat had to come in. Cat wasn't even in, in. She wasn't at work. She had to come in to come and get it. <laughs> this is really pretty. Oh, I think little uh, dresses would be beautiful. Code is uh, J-A-U-I-89. Oh, this is Quilter's Basic Harmony. You can't see the, uh, the, the colours on this, but you've got like lovely... Oh, do you know what this will go with? My favourite, Misty Blue. The colour of the little love hearts are like little misty blue colours. I definitely make the most of the misty blue that's on the website. You've got the yellow, you've got little yellow hearts, little pink hearts. You've got little yellow outlines which you probably can't see, but in between, these are all little yellow outlines. These are available in the bundle today. They're literally available by the half metre on their own. It's a good chance to stock up on however much you want. If you just want half a metre, it's 4 99 If you want more, uh, then it will be cut off the bolt for you by the half metre. And then the last one of the hearts, oh no, we've got two others actually, is K-Y-U-I. Because <laughs> that's the code. 4 99 a half metre with lovely blues and tans. I said, I said it in a, a funny rhythm. Sorry, no, you don't get the thread with it. Isn't that lovely? Four pounds, 99 and a half metre. This one is in sand and blue. Oh, there's so many lovely projects that you could do. Just so you know, by the way, those of you that have got the book from the last hour in your basket, check out now because it's about to sell out. The Annie's quilting book from behind me is really nice. Just four pounds, 99 and a half metre. I don't know where today's going. It's absolutely flying by, isn't it? We've got 20 minutes until we show you the demo of the Highland Cow and the um, Unicorn. There's still a few of the instructions left after topping up the stock levels multiple times this morning. So if you do want to make the most of it, now is the chance to grab it. Um, the last one that we have is the Reds. This is GZUI, the last one. Oh, look at this. Tell someone you love this. This is lovely for Rudy, your new little uh, pooch. Just four ninety nine. Oh, I do like that one. This would be lovely again for dressmaking, wouldn't it? Bag making, how about little um, gift ideas for people? Tell someone you love them. Little bag, little gift bags even for Christmas. This would be lovely. Oh, not long. How many days have we got to go? Surely about 90 days left, isn't it? It's not long. Not long at all. I did feel Christmassy this morning when I woke up. It was so dark. 93 days. Close. 93 days for Christmas. That's it. These are my lovely little gift bag for, for Christmas. You know, with some of uh, Kerry's patterns that we've done in the past. £4.99. Little pockets. What do you mean, little pockets? Oh, a shirt, just putting a little pocket on a shirt. Absolutely. Just a nice little flash of colour. Four pounds, 99 and a half a metre. Um, right, we've also got the roses. Oh, these are lovely. If you love the traditional colourways and the traditional sort of prints that we saw from the wildflower range, I think that these are so pretty and the colours are so classic. That one's one of my favourites. Let's go for the deep blue. O-L-U-I 35, please. And it's got beautiful pink roses. That's a great royal blue. I think that would make a beautiful dress. All of these are brand new and we're at 4 99 a half metre. It's a really good price, isn't it? 112 wide. Let me show you how much you're getting for 4 99 All of them new. All of them new. I do like that deep blue. And in the background as well, you've got more little flowers, which you'll see when you get it home. The little detail, just 4 99 Sorry, just doing a hand for scale of print. £4.99 for that lovely blue. £4.99. We've also got... <laughs> I 
the brown. What colour word does it say? Just brown, not dirt this time. You hear about that cat? We, we blamed you. We said that it was you that uh, named it. We blamed you. This would be lovely as a, a lining or a bag for autumn. I love these sort of browns and rust colours, the burnt oranges. They look great for, um, they look really, really great for autumn. Pardon? Roses and brown. They're all called Rosen, that's the name of the print. But then they're all different colours, obviously. And this has got, again, all of those di little ditzy flowers just in the background. All the ditzy flowers. Just four pounds, 99 a half metre. I'm whizzing through these. I'm ever so sorry. To say that these are brand new, we are flying through these because we've literally got less than, well, we've got about 10 minutes left. And we do want to make sure that we get the full hour with Delphine because we've got a lot of people who have been waiting for this demo for the last two months since we last did it. And we haven't heard the end of it. Please, can we have more? Can we have more? Can we have more? Uh, and that's only from... Um, from me, I've been very excited. This one, sorry. This one doesn't come with the thread, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> there you go. If you do want to get the early bird thread, if you're thinking, oh, could do with some thread, the greens would look lovely with the, uh, with the early bird. The greens would be perfect. Four pounds, 99 and a half metre. And that pink, with the green. Can I show you the difference? Look how this is a muted, uh, more of a muted colour, whereas this is a really strong pink, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. And you can see those lovely little ditzy flowers that I was talking about. Just four pounds, 99 and a half metre. I think that's my favourite colour. I am drawn to greens. I do like greens. I think it's one of those colours that some people either love it or really don't like it. I really like green. It goes with my um, sort of hair colouring. I always say to, to Laura, Laura's got red hair and she's, I, she never ever wears green and I say to her, you need to wear green. It's Laura's colour, isn't it? Our producer, Laura. And then, oh, this is like that misty blue again. How beautiful, this time with, again, autumnal colours in your flowers. I think this would be nice for soft furnishings. I think this would be really, really lovely for things in your sewing room or cushions and things like that. For bag making, dress making. £4.99. Are they flared? Cats would love a pair of flared trousers. Four pounds, 99 and a half a metre. Flares are coming back in, you know. Uh, Kat told me and I didn't believe her. I said, no, I, mean, I don't think I can do the flare jeans. Whereas actually, no, you're right. I keep seeing them now everywhere. I think it's because we've spoken about them. Does anybody else have doubt that when you talk about things, you then start seeing them all on adverts on your phone? It's a bit scary, isn't it? Sometimes you're like, hang on, how did you know I was talking about that? I keep seeing flares now. Four pounds ninety nine. I definitely haven't searched for flares. It was just cat telling me they're really on trend. And um, that almost looks textured, doesn't it? It almost looks like um, it's got a bit of uh, it's like a bit of a fluffy surface, but it's not. Four pounds ninety nine and a half a meter. Oh, by the way, yes, you're not wrong. We thought they looked very designer, like the same designer that you've said, Haley. Absolutely. Okay, um, finally, our new fabrics, autumn leaves. Now, we've got these beautiful teals. This is AXUI09. How beautiful is this? Save my favourite to last. That is so beautiful. This would look great for quilting. I love this really strong white outline. It almost looks like it's been sort of sketched, doesn't it? Four ninety-nine and a half metre. Those deep teals. Oh, bear with me. I'm just going to grab the early bird again because I'm just thinking, is that teal? Am I allowed to open this? I just want to show you. I can close it then, I think. Oh, she says. I'm not very good at opening a packaging. Let me get my scissors. Um, I'm just thinking the teal that comes with the early bird is literally identical to this. Lots of people already bought this on the website beforehand, just so you know, before we went live. Sorry, you don't want to look at me doing this, Paul. 
Sorry, I'm really bad at trying to open packaging. Oh, bear with me. Right, here we go. I'm in. Um, I'm thinking these colours. That, absolutely this one. What about this one? Or the light blue? I'd definitely put that one. I think that's gorgeous and I've not seen that colour before. That one's 189 from Gutemann. It's so nice. Um, okay, so I just thought I'd let you know that goes perfectly. Sorry, I know I'll have to get this early bird now. I've opened it. Um, we've also got the different scale of print coming up next. This one is EQUI61. Will these appear on the website or will we need search codes at home? They're all on the website. Everything's on the website now. Um, the background as well is beautiful. You've got lovely leaves and in the forefront. I love that. This would be beautiful for uh, dressmaking as well. I'm still going for this teal, this teal colour of Gutemann. That would go perfectly. 100% cotton quilting weight, 4.99 a half metre. I really like this one, my favourite. I think them, those two together look brilliant. They're called autumn leaves. Um, that's what half a metre looks like. It's 112 wide. And the two together having the different scales of print works really, really well indeed. Just 4 We've have got the same fabrics again, this time in blue colourway. Oh my word, got to whiz through these. <laughs> okay, there's the three colourways just so you can have a look whilst I'm folding. We've got the navy blue with the white flowers. This one is, we've got a brilliant week this week, haven't we? Do you know who's here tomorrow, by the way? Um, I had an email, and it's great now actually, on the newsletter, if you've subscribed to our newsletter, uh, then you'll see the whole breakdown of what's coming up in the week, sort of hour by hour as well. So this is GXU what, I26, please. Um, it's Jane Greenoff tomorrow, and the kits that she's got, if you've seen them on Facebook, are beautiful. £4.99 and a half metre for that lovely deep midnight background. In fact, I think that's a black background. Um, sorry, let me read the code again. Just check. GXUI26. £4.99. So it's got the black background with those beautiful autumn leaves, deep midnight blues. Again, Gutemann pack. I told you this is a good pack. There's so many colours in here. All of these. I'll show you how you can get it in a minute. But you've got all of these colours, which are going to be... Let me take that one away. I'd go those four. Those four would go perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I don't know why. A few uh, weeks ago, it wasn't even to do with anybody. I just came out with that smuggle randomly and Paul's never let me live it down. And then I said it again today to Delphine. It's become a bit of my catchphrase. <laughs> what was it about the first time? It was about fabric or something like completely irrelevant sometimes when you're on the telly things just happen and you think hang on i'm on the telly i shouldn't really be saying this um p k u i 91 gosh that's cool isn't it i can imagine you in a shirt with this paul actually quite dramatic isn't it it always looks illuminous for a lovely bag as well i feel like you have got a similar shirt to this $4.99, that's lovely. And they're really great, strong colours. I don't think there's a direction to this. I was trying to work out, am I upside down? Because I saw this one looked upside down. But let me spin it and see. I don't think there is a direction. No, there isn't, isn't it? Because now I'm upside down here. So that's good. If you are thinking of dressmaking, you don't need to worry too much about the directional prints. Just for or bag making. $4.99. And then the last one from this range is UX. UI19, please. And then, oops, oh yes, I've got the, uh, the burgundy colours. This is such a lovely gypsy print. This will go as a, a mixer as well between all of your fabrics in your quilting collection. If you do just want to add a smaller scale print and a, a nice neutral colour, that's going to be great. If you don't want a plain fabric for the lining of your bag, 
I mean, the, co the colours are, are fantastic. They're really neutral, but also it's four ninety nine. It's really affordable for a, fa a patterned fabric. Just four pounds ninety nine. One hundred and twelve wide. But now is your chance to get as much as you want. It'll be cut off the bolt, especially for you. So if you do want uh, three meters, get six units so on and so forth you can just keep going by the half meter we sell on half meter increments we've got one last brand new fabric to launch now um, it's the same as this one same as that ditzy print we've just shown this time in the most autumnal plum red i'm thinking this with the red hearts would look really lovely they would look really nice together four pounds 99 that plum color would look amazing uh, in fact, it looked nice with the bundle that we had behind us, you know, the Delphine's projects. It's got similar sort of colour tones with the reds. They're like, they're like raspberry plum tones. Really nice. 4 99 half metre. Your background is cream. Uh, do absolutely make the most of it. Now, I know that we've been talking about uh, the Highland Cow a lot today. If you've got any questions for Delphine, now is the time to get them in. Any questions and answers, any questions, we're asking you all sorts today. So if you do want a message in the studio, it's studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. They keep telling me that I'm dilly-dallying across, so I've just sprinted and I got told off for running in the studio now. Um, also, early bird special, £12.99 for 10 of your great Guterman threads, which are absolutely beautiful quality, 100% polyester. You sew all threads, 50 weight, so you can use these with... Uh, well, in your machine, in your bobbin, for applique, for hand sewing, you could use it for your applique. You're going to be seeing this lovely green in just a moment with Delphine, using it for our, um, our quilting as well. £12.99 for all 10, 100 metres on each spool for just £12.99 today's early bird special. Lots of you already taken advantage of it. So I just wanted to make sure we're all aware of it. Another great deal which is selling uh, today is the machine deal. It's £499 as always, but today you're getting £55 worth of goodies, freebies. Two panels exclusive to us, the handmade touch book, the bobbin and the snips. It's probably going to be the last time that I mention it today. Uh, so if you do have any questions again, please get them in. And if I can answer them on air, I will. Or if I do have to find out, then I will, um, I'll message you back later. Uh, it might be back tomorrow, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can show it to you for the rest of the week, but I can't promise. We've got a certain amount of these machines that once they've gone, they've all gone. And especially with this bundle, I think we've been seeing the machine a lot over the last few weeks. So I think a lot of people have said, you know what, I'm ready to upgrade to my computerized machine. Or um, remember, you can have the machine on its own. Absolutely, it'll still be the same price point. Still comes with the extension table and the two year warranty and all of the great features and functions anyway. But today, you're getting the handmade touch book, you're getting the Janome snips, you're getting the Janome bobbins, which go perfectly with this machine. And then you also get, as you can see there, your two exclusive panels the time is now the time is here as they say in Le Miserable um, we have got the most exciting hour coming up for you now I don't really have much to talk about it's all going to be about Delphine uh, we've got the pattern on its own for the first time today well done everybody who had already bought this at six o'clock this morning at seven o'clock this morning before we came live and throughout the show because we are limited on the instructions on their own now. We've topped up the stock so many times, but we're going to be talking through anyway how you make it and any questions for Duffy and get them in. Don't go anywhere because we want to make sure that we spend as much time with this as possible uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. 
And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie and I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time and um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. It's, it's here. I'm so pleased. We waited two months for this. So two months ago, we launched um, potentially one of the most exciting projects that we've done here. One that we certainly, we knew that it was going to be so popular, but we didn't quite predict just how huge this would be. I must say, we, we get projects in every single day and we do two demonstrations every single day so you're going to learn so much if you're just joining us but you only need to say the Highland Cow and every single person doesn't matter if they were there or not during that launch every one of us knows exactly what project we're talking about so we have begged and we've pleaded to be able to get these back in stock when we found out we did as soon as I told you during the menu yesterday I said buy them at six o'clock in the morning if you as soon as they go live on the website I've got a feeling they'll sell out 
and I was right, they all went before we came live on the show. If you did manage to get them, well done, because they're beautiful. I will show you what you've got because um, I know that you've just seen it on the web. Our true colours range from uh, Tula Pink is just beautiful. You get the whole charm pack uh, of your five inch squares, plus you're getting two metres of your background fabric, which is white. I can't put the graphics in because it's completely sold out, but I just wanted you to see what it was that you're getting. For the first time ever, we're also offering the pattern instructions on their own. You do not need to choose. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I really want to do the unicorn, but I also really want to do the Highland Cow. I think I might get both. Don't need to worry because you get both anyway. You get both. So you get your instructions for the Highland Cow. You get your instructions for the unicorn. Are you ready for your graphics? As soon as these graphics come live, I've got a feeling this could sell out. If you want it, absolutely check out now. It's £12.99 and you're getting both the unicorn applique instructions and your Highland Cow. And inside you've got all of Delphi's instructions, all of the photographs as well, which are, are fantastic. And you get all of your templates. We've had to restock these twice today. They're exclusive to us. I know that a lot of people have been messaging Delphi privately as well, asking whether we can, if she can provide them. We've waited a long time to be able to get them, so well done if you've managed to get them. We didn't do these before on their own. They were only available in kits, but this is why we, we love your, um, your input. We listen to you. So I know a lot of people said they wanted to do it with their own fabrics, maybe with tartans and things like that would look beautiful with your highland cow or i mean there's so many gorgeous fabrics that we've got on the website um, all of your templates as well your placement uh, templates there you've got everything that you need ready to go 12 pounds 99 for your instruction sets for both of them that is brilliant value for money for your patterns uh, even if everything sells out today, which I think it will, uh, we knew this would happen, so we'll just have a nice hour with Delphine making. Uh, now also, of course, you're going to need, it's an applique project, so you're going to need to get yourself some bonder web. Now, I believe the bonder web on the roll, the five metre roll, um, is available as well. So you can either get the metre piece, which is this one, or you can get the five metre roll. This one is plenty for the project. Um, I wonder whether you'd get, if you need two packets, if I want to make both of them. Get two packets if you want to make the Highland Cow and the Unicorn. As I say, you get the instructions for both. So definitely it's one, um, one, uh, one piece is definitely fine though for, for one or the other. Instructions are now sold out as predicted. And also we've got behind me the Bonder Web. So you're five metres on a roll. If you do lots of applique, if you love this project, if you do know that you want to do both of them, Get yourself a roll, absolutely. £23.99. We'll talk about Bonderweb for anybody who's not done applique. We'll go right back to the basics um, with Delphine. And if you've got any questions for her whatsoever, now is the time to make the most of it. What are we going to have as our main graphic then now? Um, we don't really know, to be honest. We don't really know. We'll talk about the machine as well in a bit because I know it's um, Delphine tried to run off with it earlier, I caught her red-handed. So we'll talk about the 680 as well. But first, Delphine, did you ever imagine that this would cause the chaos that no, it has? No, like I said uh, on the, on when I was doing the quilting earlier on, it, when I was just sat drawing it, it was just an idea. Um, it, I, when I um, sent the images to Hayley, I was so nervous thinking, because I just, if, I don't know, it's my imagination, yeah. isn't it? So like I said, it literally just started with a drawing and I was just over the kitchen side and just playing with a few pencils, called it different ideas. And so did the Highland Cow come before the unicorn? Yes, that did, but I, there were so many more. Oh, really? the, yeah, the, I was thinking uh, pheasants, um, peacocks. So uh, are we going to do more? If you want more. I what can would do we more. like? What other yeah, ones? I know. think a peacock would be amazing. Yeah, and I think with these colours that are so bright, um, anything like that that's got a lot of feathers, that was why I was thinking of pheasant. You know, with all the, the feathers coming yeah. out of the back, that would look really cool. A, a hare, I was thinking, like a rabbit. Um, we do need to start thinking of more, actually, because yeah. I think this has become a real thing, hasn't it? A lot of people have been asking for it. And even people who already got the kit a couple of months ago are now saying, right, I need it again for friend or relative yeah. and uh, they, they, they have really really taken off so let's go back to the start so it starts off as it started off as a drawing, as a drawing. Yep. so then uh, how do you turn that into then all of your templates well again I was really um, 
really lucky actually. Hayley said, you know, let me have uh, some charm packs with the Tula Pink from the, the other range, the handmade range. And uh, said, if you want to come up with something. I was so I was just really excited because I like having, I like being creative. I like trying. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, and I thought, how am I going to turn this drawing into? And I'm like, because you see, you see a charm square, and you feel like you you're committed to that five inch square. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, no, I'm not being told what to do. So <laughs> I cut it all up instead. <laughs> so I thought, you, all, all it is is quilting, is cutting up a bit of fabric and sticking it back together. Absolutely. Sewing it back together. Yeah. And uh, so I thought, why not just make a bigger piece? And the colours as well, with, with any charm pack, they're so mm -hmm. well put together, aren't they? So when I was putting the, um, deciding on what colours and things, I just uh, just laid it all out in front of me. And I just, to be honest, I just went, went along with it and just made it up as I went along, took photographs, wrote some notes and then redid it and then, then you've got your pattern. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. It really, really is. So for anybody who missed out on the kit, as I know so many people did, do I need to get myself a charm pack or could I use a jelly roll or any, you know, you can use meters, You, you can, can use, use anything. anything. Yeah. Okay. I really like that rainbow fabric that you had on yeah. earlier on. That, that would look lovely. That would look beautiful. Yeah. That'd be beautiful. Yeah. Um, just so you know, there is a bundle that's on the website at the moment that's called What Sorry. It's called Tula Pink Skyline Quilt Bundle. And that comes with, I think it's the design roll, which is a 40 piece design roll. It's the homemade range, which is the same ones that you did the original yes. cushions with. Yep. They're behind our feed. And then you also get a metre and a half of ivory. So, I mean, you'll have plenty of fabric of, of your Tula Pink with some left over. And even if you don't have enough of the ivory, you might need to put some more ivory into your basket. Or I suppose, could you use the Tula Pink design roll as almost doing like a, yeah, a binding Yeah, I was going well? to do that actually. Actually, I was going to do that, but I just wanted to play around with a few more ideas. But and also, I just wanted to take the focus of of the TV just straight into the yeah. Highland cow. But oh, definitely, like a bit like if you do um, for those that d bought the stag's head cushion mm -hmm. at Christmas. I, that's what I did with that. So if you weren't sure about how to do that border, I did actually demo how to do that when I did that one with just using little oh, bits strips of fabric. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, we also have Woven Dreams Tula Pink. If you love these really bright colours, it's, it is the true colours, this time in the design role. And then you get a metre of fabric. So that one's called the Woven Dreams Quilt. But just so you know, we're trying to give you more options of Tula Pink because it does, like you say, work really well with these vibrant colours. It does, yeah. She's very clever. So, yeah. come on then, where do we start? I know you've been oh. doing a lot of prep in the last oh, hour for I this have. I've been. I've, I've never cut a pattern out so quickly ever. Oh, I've just been uh, out there doing that. Obviously, I, I have been done some planning before, okay, because I uh, yeah. did prep the cow, but I also really want to show the unicorn as well, so we'll show you that in a minute. Brilliant. Right, should we get going? Absolutely. Okay, so, like I said, it is so simple, this pattern. Um, um, anyone can do it. Anyone. I love that. I think with your templates and your your patterns, it is something that it looks really complex, and you think, how am I going to create that? But yeah, I've, I've done the hard bit for you. I've done the drawings. The drawings are all there. The templates are there. And so this, the actual um, process of do, do it, stripping, putting the fabric together, is just so easy. It's easy as I actually can cut straight into this fabric this time. I'm not drawing anything. Oh dear, so I won't get over that one. Pat so that's your five inch square? Five inch square. So you will do one and a half inch strips. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will have a little bit left over. So all you're going to be doing is just selecting your colours, whatever you want, and then just cut into one and a half inch strips. And you just sew them together. Okay. That's it. So, so as you can see with that one, um, on both of them actually, in the charm pack, you've, they're, they're very clever in how they layer the different colours from the pinks into the blues into the greens and yellows. So with each pattern piece, select a colour that you're going to choose. For the hair, for example, I've chosen the pinks. Right. So for the face, I've chosen the yellow, chose the green. So if you mix them up, you, it, you wouldn't get the outline. Okay. So uh, if you are using your own fabrics, make sure that same it's colours. very separate okay. so if you are doing it all as um example if you want to have it just as a silhouette piece all the templates together and just cut out one piece of fabric right so you can do it like that but make sure that you get a good contrast between the face and the hair and uh, otherwise it will get a bit lost so yeah. so that's how i selected the fabrics okay so then so i'm going to do the face piece at the moment so i think i need about eight pieces so, because it's a charm pack, they've been put together so well, you don't have to think about it too much. Don't stress over, over it. A lot of the time, I just put it in a random order and go and think, that'll do. Um, there we are. 
something like that. So I'll sew all those together just in strips. So that's what I'm going to do for the face piece. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I've just used a mixture. Of, so there, I've used a mixture of the yellows and the greens, mm -hmm. but they still they work. They still work, yeah. yeah. Okay. So again, just like I did before, I'm just going to chain piece these. Bear with us, by the way, because we're trying to get some more patterns. Um, I don't want anyone to miss out on this again, because we've, um, we've had a lot of people asking and asking and asking for this for months uh, when was it that we first bought this on air was it back in it was ages july ago. Yeah. i think it was the 20 something of a july i mean it's been months since it's been out yeah. so quarter of an inch quarter of an inch but again it doesn't don't worry too much about okay. it you don't have to be accurate so this is although it looks quite complex it's a really good beginner's project oh, so if you are a beginner <gasps> how cool would you look if you were a beginner nice. sewer and you've just started sewing and you whip that up Oh, it looks incredible. Mm -hmm. It looks so designer. It look, if you were to go to like one of these, um, I've got a really fancy like interior shop, which I always look in my town, down the road from me. I always look, I can imagine it in the window and it would be really, ex really expensive. If you give this to somebody, it looks really designer, doesn't it, yeah. individual? Yeah, if you got that for Christmas, because we are leading up to it. Oh, absolutely. And with designer fabric as well. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm just going to finish these two off. So you're basically just making a new fabric, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So again, with me use a charm plus, especially again when you're new, you think, oh, I've got to keep it the same as I can only use that one piece. Whereas, you know, throw the rule book out the window. You can cut them all. It's like when we quilt, all we're doing is making one big piece of fabric. Yeah. So why can't you just do it this way as well? Absolutely. Just coming up with different ideas. And then I'm going to chain piece those ones to get those together as well. I'm not going to press them. I'll just go straight back to the machine. Random order. See, I'm not being too precious about it. Okay. If anything, it works out better if you don't think too much about it. Are you very good at doing random? I know a lot of quilters aren't very good. find it difficult to do random. If you're using a jelly roll, charm pack, anything like that, the people that have put these charm packs together know what they're doing. Um, you know, yeah. so I if you try and push back a little bit, it... It just won't work because yeah. they know they've done that and des designed that for in a specific way. So, no. Yeah, go with it. Yeah, if obviously doing your own fabrics, you need to think a bit more about it. But then, no, to, to put your trust in the designers and uh, mm -hmm. it'll all work. There we are. So those ones and let's have. Keep your eyes peeled on the website. Keep refreshing your page because I can confirm we are definitely going to be able to get some more patterns. It's just a matter of when, I will, as soon as I know, as soon as Kat knows, we will tell you straight away. Uh, but keep your eyes peeled on the website, that's exciting. So, and again, they don't have to be straight. If you have a bit of a wobble, it doesn't matter. Don't beat yourself up about it, because this, you're not meeting any points. Okay. Uh, it's all random fabrics, and if anything, it makes it a bit more quirky. Yeah. You know, it's hair at the end of the day, it's not going to be dead straight, so don't worry about that's it. That's what I love, everybody who's going to get the same kit. Well everybody who did get the kit this morning uh, will get the same kit and yet everybody's will still be different everybody's will still be slightly different it's like when you make a recipe isn't it mm -hmm. you could all have the same ingredients the same the same pattern and um everyone's comes out with a different looks yeah. different at the end doesn't it like day cough yeah there. Dennis, go 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 they're there they're there they're there they're there if you want them on the website quick how many have we got can i say or not uh, we're still limited, Cat saying. Twelve ninety nine. Remember, you can get both. You will get both. You'll get the unicorn and the Highland Castle. You don't need to choose between the two. Grab yours whilst you can. Um, I predict these will last another few minutes. That's it. So do grab them as soon as you can. Uh, I, I think that's it then as well. Thank you for bearing with us. You get all of your templates, all of your instructions, and of course you can watch back today's show or the show uh, back in July. Can't wait to see what yours are going to look like as well. Yeah, there's been a few on the uh, from when it was on last time. People yeah. have been putting some pictures on. Really impressive. Ah, oh, nice. It's like I say every time I'm, I'm on here that to me that's why that's what I love doing this yeah. is seeing what other Everybody people interpret your your patterns, your designs, and so just pressing them all the one way, the same way. Yeah. Again, anyway. it doesn't matter. You haven't got to open your seams. Don't waste your time doing that on this. Okay. It doesn't matter. There you go. Sorry, I'm taking a bit longer to do it because I forgot to turn the iron off. Oh, it's all right. There we are. So you got your piece of fabric. Your new piece of Tula fabric. Yeah. 
So, where's the pattern? Here we go. So I know I've cut everything else out apart from the face. Would so you advise to um, trace these out so you can use them again or, or how would you do it? Cut them I'll, out? I'll just trace over them. Trace over them. Uh, and if you haven't got, if you do struggle with the bond web, you can use an interface as well. But I always just leave them and just trace, out, trace over them. I suppose if you were going to make lots of them, mm -hmm. uh, you'd put, put it on a cardboard and just draw around it. Yeah. That's a little bit quicker, especially yeah. if you're not very steady with your hands. Okay. Um, so again, with your bonder web, uh, we use this quite a bit. It's uh, obviously rough on one side, smooth on the other. Um, apart from the horn and one of the ears, everything else, uh, you don't need to worry about reversing the pattern. Brilliant. Um, oh, that's a little different then. <laughs> okay, so just, and again, don't worry about being really accurate with it either. Is this going to wipe off? It is, isn't it? Oh, I know, I've got my pencil here. Oh, no, look at that. <laughs> Just while Daphne's <laughs> throwing a pencil out, Puffing. we've got one of the Tula Pink design rolls available, the graphics are live for it. It's the homemade collection, which is the one that the original cushions that are behind Delphine are, are, are used, uh, are working with, and they look amazing. So if you do want that, it's $34.99, you'll have plenty in there. You'll have absolutely plenty. You'll have fabric left over, absolutely. You just need to get your back in fabric. That'd That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, and that'd be a Christmas present sorted, wouldn't it? If you, oh, you could, if you get that, you can make loads. Absolutely. So all I've done, as you can see, I've not been very. Oh, you, sorry, Paul. I don't know if you can see my drawing there. Yeah, just yeah, a little bit there. Just about. But I've not been very precious about that. Okay, so it doesn't need to be exactly no. the same uh, no. boats and hair just as yours, is it? You could make it hairier if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? There we are. So then you get your fabric that you've already sewn together and you put it with the rough side down and just iron it on. Make sure your iron's not too hot. Okay. And just if you can, if you're patient enough, just give it a couple of seconds to cool down because it can get quite hot. Don't use your friction pen on that because they'll just disappear. Right? I did that. <laughs> did you? Yeah. <laughs> of course I did. I'm always <laughs> making mistakes. I tell you. Yeah, because I was with uh, Debbie and I, um, I gra just grabbed a pen at the time. And of course, you're not thinking about it. No. You're concentrating on what you're doing. I did that and it disappeared. But it looked quite it, good in the end because I ended up cutting it out freehand. Right. But, oh, oh, I was sweating <laughs> that day. Yeah. Okay. And then you get your scissors and we're just going to cut it out. If you've got some uh, small, smaller craft scissors, they work quite well. But lots of little embroidery snips on the website as well. I think the Fiskars ones with the orange handle are available. So I'm just going to get rid of that piece. There we are. So it's just lots of little points. And again, so yeah, I'm doing this quite quick, but when you're at home, you can take your time. I like the fact that it's like a, a project that you get to do a little bit of everything. So you're choosing your fabrics, you're mixing them together, you're doing your bond web, you're cutting them out, you're doing your sewing. There's something you, that it, it's a really exciting project that you're doing lots of different elements, aren't you? In yeah. The project. Yeah, because I get I can get bored quite easily when I'm working on a project. Yeah, you I just soon want to get to the next <laughs> to the next one. I like this. I like this pattern. It's like you say, it's just cool, isn't it? Oh, it's so cool. Sold out. Sold out again. Dark again. Food. What are you doing oh, to us? I'm going now. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So there's again. It's not perfect because I've just been pushing a bit. That's lovely. So there's the face piece. So imagine I've done that with all the pieces. Oh, I qu am quickly actually because I know I didn't do one of the horns. So if you do do a oh, horn, oh yeah, to do the mirror. So you do one, and then how do you do the reverse? Just draw it on the other side. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Draw it on the reverse side. Although because I've been playing with this, it's already a bit warm. Or you can just um, put the other one next to it and just clip around it. So I'll just do that very lightly. So the measurements uh, vary slightly for um, the horn and the ear pieces, but otherwise everything else is just a one and a half inch strip. 
Anybody who wanted to know when the other demo was, it was the, when was it? 12th of July. 12th of July. Cat's replying to you on Facebook. You are obviously good at multitasking, Cat, aren't you? Okay, there it is. There's the other one. So either draw it on or mm -hmm. you can um, just rip Put it together, yeah, and cut round it like a stencil. That's it. That's the word, a <laughs> stencil. Okay. So the the unicorn pattern does require a little bit more in means of when you're cutting the pattern out of uh, reversing the pattern. Okay. So just make sure you read your instructions. Right. Okay. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, it's all in there. And your instructions, <laughs> I must say, are really thorough with lots of photographs. I love how many photos you've done with this as well. At every point, you've got a photo and a number that's linked with all of your instructions. Yeah, Tom helps me very uh, a lot with the, doing all the numbers and things. I send in the pictures and the, the writing and bless Tom, he does yeah, all that for me. Yeah, really good. All right then. So, I have cut out all of my pieces. I've got my horns, I've got my face pieces and all the other little bits and bobs. The only, the diff the only thing is, is when you do the stem, uh, to do the stem, you just cut two pieces, like, again, the measurements are all in the instructions, and instead of sewing them that way together, you just sew them that way. Right, and with That's you. That's it. Yeah. yeah. If you work with a design roll, you won't need to do that, but with the charm packs. Charm packs, okay. yeah. So I've got a bit of, I've already cut out a white square. So I tend to use, uh, I like 20 inch cushion pads because they're nice and nice and firm. So I always tend to sew them a little bit smaller, so about an 18 inch. So obviously I've done a border on that one. So this piece of fabric I've cut around, it's about 18 inches. Okay, is that some H640 you've got there? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I quickly borrowed it off Cat this morning. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I think yeah. there's some other websites, the Cat. H640 we've got on the website. So I've already um, glued it on to the H640. Obviously, you've got the bobbly side, which is the glue. So I've just put that on there. So in the pattern, this is a bit crease. I'm sorry about that. I can sort that out in a moment. But before you um, start gluing your uh, pieces onto the um, fabric, there is a diagram here. So all the different colours and also the instructions. This is not to scale, by the way, so yeah. make sure that when you do, are doing your uh, stencils, don't be confused with this page. Okay. This is just to show the pattern placement, yeah. not the, um, uh, the templates. Scale, yeah. And also it tells you exactly uh, how to lay them down in each order. Oh, that's before good. Before we do that, if you just iron across in the fabric that I have done there, which you can see it's brought up quite well, use that as your centre point, and that's about where his nose is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so f get all your pieces and just peel off any of the interface on the back. You can use a pin, scratch it, or just have a bit of a, just give it a little tear. Find it, it comes off easier if you le let it cool down. Definitely, yeah. I'll just let it cool down a, a tad. Mind you, this is a piece I've just done. Bonder web on a roll, you get five meters. I think twenty three ninety nine. There's loads of stock up. Plique gets really addictive, doesn't it? I do love a plique. Yeah, I love a bit of a plique. I like coming up with. Again, you can just come up with so many different designs, and it's just fun, isn't it? Absolutely. And, or you can play with different stitches on your machines, and different <laughs> fabrics, different textures. Yeah. Um, also embellishments. And could I use um, instead of bonder web? Could I use a five oh five spray to yeah. position? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've done that with a plique before. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to, I've already taken the backs off all of the other pieces, so I'm just laying them all, laying them all out. Hopefully I've not lost any <laughs> from being out there to coming back in here. So you lay, would you lay them all out before you start pressing Definitely, anything? Definitely, because it, it'll just be a nightmare trying to take them all off. Yeah. I said it's all in the instructions of how you lay them down. Oh, I do love these colours. I must say, those true colours are gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful, aren't they? Really pop. Look at that. I love bright colours. And see, that's what I mean. The, uh, the horns are, and the ears are the only two pieces that you need to reverse. Everything else is nice and easy. There you go. He's got his little hair sticking out. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, cute. 
So, and then you lay. So I always do this because, like you say, the, the, the last piece off is the first piece to stick right. on. There's so, so much that you've, um, you've personalised these in the past as well, haven't you? Like you could do a nose ring or yeah. I remember you did one with headphones and all this. Yeah, and yeah. sunglasses and oh, yeah. shirt and tie. Uh, there we are. So you always pop the lip just slightly under the nose. There we are. So that's how we're going to stick it all down. Oh, perfect. See, I mean, look at how quick you've sort of, I know that you've done this quite a few times. But it doesn't take very long, actually. It's the cutting, isn't it? Once you've done all your cutting, the placement itself, you've done all the hard work for us. Yeah, exactly. And I think um, y if I was doing this at home, uh, obviously today it's a bit different when you're doing it on the telly. Um, I would take all these pieces off and stick them down individually ah, using okay. the iron. But today <laughs> I'm going to... Are you going to go for it? I am. I don't know if it's going to backfire, but oh well. It's just a bit of sewing. It's okay. Nothing. You use your big iron. It should be all it right. It should be fine. So the aircon's not on at the moment, so it's not going to. It's not going to blow all over in his lip. Although you haven't got your ironing board underneath, have you? Mm oh, good job you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea to lay it out on your ironing board, isn't it? Actually, at home, because I've done this as well, where you try to do it and then actually take it to your ironing board and it's all completely moved. That's amazing. There we go. So do you know what? I'm not going to be. Brave for the nostrils. I don't want his nostrils being in the wrong place. Right. Yeah, I suppose you could do the outline of the face and then do the details. Yeah. Like I said, I would do it bit by bit. So okay. please take your time. Do it piece by piece. Do you need a pressing cloth or anything or do you just go for it? I've cleaned your iron. <laughs> Ready? Down the middle. There we go. Nice and slow, from the working from the middle outwards. And then, sorry, Paul, because I have my arm in the way. No, that's perfect. He's trying to just come up with all of the different puns. He says, "Tell us she needs to move it." She, <laughs> you don't need to move it at all, but it's so confusing when you're doing all these puns, and I'm like, "Do I ask her to move it?" No. <laughs> Try and get udder in a pun. He said, "I don't know." Um, there we are. Okay. So, I'll just stick on the other little bits. There we have nice and flat fabric. Oh, now. nice. So, I'm just going to. Actually, ideas really quickly. Do you have any wiggle room? If there's a part where you think, ah, it's not in you'd the have to be you You'd have be to be quick, quick about it. it. It's hot. Yeah. You have to be very quick about it. There's his flower. Oh, his nostrils. Little nostrils. I like that fabric that you've chosen as well with just the little circle on. Is that intentional? It was a happy accident, Vicky. Love it. <laughs> there we go. He's in. There we are. The graphic, by the way, just so you know, is for the uh, tuliping homemade desire roll, which is this one. You get 40 pieces. It's very, very similar colours to the one that we're working with. You've got a little sewing notion. So if you've seen the, the unicorn and the, the Highland cow that's behind Dalphine, it's using this, this, um, it, it's using this, uh, not, it's not this design roll because it was a charm pack. What am I trying to say? The same collection, so the same fabrics basically. And you get 40 of the strips, 42 strips in fact, 42 strips, and the colours are beautiful. They've all got their little sewing notions as well. How lovely are they? Right, what are you sewing? What so you all sewing? I'm sewing now, just to save a bit of time on pinning, because okay. uh, I want to free motion it, I just want, I'm just sewing all the way around the edge of the fabric just to keep it in place so it okay. doesn't move around. So I'm just time saving really. HG40 is nice to do some quilting with it actually, isn't it? Instead of having to do a full cut and sandwich. you having to baste it all. Yeah, then. yeah. yeah. Nearly done. And then it's time to have a bit of fun. Sorry, Helen, I know we've sold out of the patterns. You just asked, have we sold out? It's been a manic day today. There's no more in stock today. Um, hopefully in the future, fingers crossed, we'll be able to bring it back at some point. But that's it for today, I'm afraid. Um, just so you know, tomorrow's going to be epic as well. We've got a brilliant lineup this week, haven't we? I feel like I need to give everybody lots of warning this week for what's coming up. And let's pocket at the end. 
So again, I've just saved a bit of time. That's a little nick there, but I can, I can push that out. There we go. All right then, so let's do a bit of free motion. <gasps> nice. Ooh. The free motion, I know it sort of scares people sometimes, doesn't it? I know putting that free motion foot on, for people who are so used to sewing, um, it's straight lines, you almost have this freedom, which is quite scary sometimes. It feels strange to go back without having to stop and pivot, doesn't it? Whereas- I'll Break all the rules. It's. It is. Even if you're not a, a fantastic artist like Delphine, have a go with it still because you'll be surprised of you know what you can create with your free motion foot. So you're just changing. I'm just your changing my foot. foot. And the only thing you need to do with your machine, like you can do it on the 550 as well with your free motion. You just need to drop your feed dogs, yep. don't you? Just drop my feed dogs, and I'm just going to change the thread because I want it to be quite a dark thread. So when I quilted the one behind me, I just used the blanket stitch. So you'd go around each of your pieces. Um, using a blanket stitch, a zigzag stitch, straight stitch. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously with it being a plique, if you're going to use it a lot, you don't want those raw edges, so a blanket stitch or a zigzag is great. Okay. Uh, but you could use a decorative stitch, you could use, you could do whatever you like. So with this one, did you project? use the free motion foot to yes. go around your pieces? So this one, I don't know if you can pick it up very well, but you can. I don't know if you can see where I've actually drawn over the hair, so I've given him extra hair. Oh, you can just about see it, can't you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see here. And do you know what I love about this one? Because with the, the ones that you've made up and you've gone around with a blanket stitch, it's, it's really sort of flush to the background. Whereas with this, if you leave a little bit of a gap around the edge, it's got texture, it's got almost, you can see where it starts to fray. And normally I'd say, oh, you know, it, it, it steer away from the fraying. Whereas with this project in particular, I think it's perfect. I think it works really, really well to have just that little bit of a uh, little bit of fray. It's like what you were saying earlier about we've all got the same pattern, but everyone's is going to be that little bit different. Yeah, absolutely. So how you quilt it, how you finish it. You could even get a bit of embellishment and put in a little nose ring in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, have There's fun with it. Play so around. much scope to be able to do lots of different personalisation with it. So I'm not going to change the... Oh no, I might as well. I'm not going to do a half job. I'll do a proper job. There we go. I'll change that. So, so it shows how quick, doesn't it, sometimes... Um, well, as I said, my machine that used to let me down, it used to take me forever to just do simple things like this. But with the 680, it's so quick and easy to just say, right, I'm changing colour, changing bobbin. There we go. There we go. On and done. Done. Thank you, Delphi. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we ready. Hopefully that's so all set. Up. Where are you going to sew? Are you going to go all the way around the outline first? Or oh, uh, how do you do it? You just decide uh, when it's there. Yeah. Yeah, go if you want to, go around the outside of the pieces first, and if you want to add any details, you can do that after. But I think we'll start on the horn, bit on the top left. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do any type of applique work, or if, you, if it's your first time doing any detail, always do it on the left side, okay. because your eye's always drawn to the bottom right. Yeah. So if you're going to make your mistakes, make them on the left side. <laughs> I have to remember that. So, I am going to just start it and then trim the, trim the thread off, because I don't want to get it caught in... Um. Do you find that it's easier to go quicker you, than yes, slower? Yes, absolutely. When, you, when you're doing any type of free motion, it's best to be consistent with your speed. And um, because otherwise your stitches will be the wrong, the wrong length. Okay. And, um, and also on this one, if you've got a speed adjuster on your machine, if you're not confident on doing it really, really quick, um, just change your speed only ever so slightly and foot to the floor. Okay. Be brave. Yeah. yeah. So have a play around on different fabrics. But if you keep slowing down or if you keep stopping, you will notice a different length okay. in your stitch. And if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're doing things for, say, a show or for quilting competitions, they do look at the length of the stitch. Right, so you're controlling the length of your stitch yes. when you're free motion. It's yep. not like you can change the length of your stitch on your machine. No. You're controlling you with your speed. Yeah, okay. some people turn it down to uh, change the stitch length to zero. I never do, but my stitch length is still quite consistent. Okay. So it's everyone's, again, it's the same with the seams. Everyone's yeah. got their own little way of doing things, the okay. same with this. But if you are doing it for uh, a real quality piece, you want to make sure that stitch length is the right. It's consistent. Yeah. So you're going around all the hair now. So I'm going around all the hair, just down to the points. Anybody who's not had a go at free motion before, would 
you just having a go on a bit of scrap, make yourself Definitely. a bit of a... Have, a... have a bit of a play around with things. And it's just fun. Like, I mean, as you know, I like to draw. So drawing with... Um, Thread, yeah. just, uh, broken thread. But yeah, just uh, just have a bit of a play around with things. Like it doesn't. Um, there's so many different designs as well that you can do with free motion, isn't there? That you can just. You know, there's no rules. You're Absolutely. Not, sorry, I broke my thread. Two seconds. <laughs> it's okay. And it looks lovely in um, actually just having it in just black actually, just to really see the outline. And it doesn't need to be. I think the great thing about it is it doesn't need to be really accurate it is just almost like a doodle isn't it yeah okay but it's such a fun design that's why i wanted to have a bit of a play around and have a bit more fun with it where's that bit of there we go don't want you you can go <laughs> over there we always go home with so much thread all attached to us i still need to speak to debbie about when um debbie didn't realize i've told this story the last couple of days but i still can't get over it she, she went out just in careful in case you're having any brunch or something because it makes Paul go a bit queasy. But Debbie went for a routine eye check. She's absolutely fine. They found thread behind her eye. Really? And she didn't, she didn't feel it. Ooh, I don't, I, know. Know. I don't know how I feel about that. I know, it's strange, isn't it? I don't like it either. Oh, no. Oh, bless her. I hope she's all right. It's like she didn't even know. Yeah. So, but yeah, thread does get everywhere, doesn't it? It's so, and I've just got caught on that bit there. It's got a bit angry at me. Oh no, what's it saying? It, this happened the computer on my said machine. no. The computer said no. Oh. It's good. The, what I love about this machine is that it almost tells you, doesn't it? It bleeps at you. It won't let you do anything yeah. that you're not allowed to do. Uh, just so you know, the Elna 680 machine, the graphics are live for it. It is one of my favourite machines. The design roll as well, the Tula Pink handmade design roll. If you do love these colourways that Delphine's sort of working with, Tula Pink does offer the most amazing, vibrant colours. And what I love about the homemade collection is that you've got all of these lovely little sewing notions as well. So that looks like a quilting ruler. Uh, this one, you've got your tape measure. You've got your little safety pins. You've got one with a sewing machine with scissors, the eye of the needles. Every single one of these has got that little sewing notion. And especially when you're snipping this up and creating your new fabric, you just see small elements of it. It works really, really well. A bit of a nod to our craft as well. If you missed out on the kits, if you missed out on anything, if, you missed, um, if you've got the instructions on their own, why not get yourself the design roll? It's just $34.99 and you'll have so much fabric there to not only do this project, Unicorn Project, or any others that you want to do. It'll go a really long way. There's your design roll for $34.99. Is it behaving itself now, Delphine? It is. It was my bobbin that was playing up. But all is good now. All is good. So I'm just going to have a bit of fun with the hair and just give it like just a bit more detail. Just go forward and back. I think that's what feels strange the first time with do free motion. It's actually going backwards, isn't it? Yeah. And just be gentle, you don't need to... Um, You're not pulling it. No, just glide in, the, glide in the fabric. I mean, my hands are barely touching it, really. There we go. There we are. And then I've just done a little... Bound by the hair. Let's give it... You could even go off give it an extra few tufts of hair. Oh yeah. Oh good idea. There we are. So it is like a bit more of a doodle. So I'll go to the ears now and I'll do the same thing with that one. Are we doing okay for time so I can show you the other one? Yeah absolutely. How long have we got Paul? I know we've got 18 minutes and we don't have much to round up this hour, do we? So you can so have as long as you want. So I'll use up all the 18 minutes. <laughs> so the only reason I'm just going from one side to the other because I just don't want to go across my drawing. So. There we are. Going At home, would you put your extension tape on for this? Yes. Definitely. Okay. Just makes everything that little bit more comfortable. You do get the extension table with both the 550 and the 680, so you do get extension table as well. Okay. So 
again, just going up and down, barely touching. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Remember to breathe. I always forget that when I'm sewing. Just in, it, yeah, it's, it's quite important in life, isn't it? Just to remember that. Just, just remember to, just, you know, it's because uh, you can get a bit butched up, and before you know it, you, you, your shoulders. Absolutely. Ache. So, just doing the last bit now. I'll do the stem. Quite relaxing, actually, isn't it? Again, you can come off a little bit, give it an extra few stray hairs on his beard there. Oh, let's give him a smile. Oh, There we go. He's got a smile now. Oh, he's got a smile. He's lovely, isn't he? He's a happy one. Around the flower. Can we name him? Yeah, he's got a name. We have name suggestions, please. And then last bit, just around there. There you go. Done. How quick's that? So, I mean, you can spend as much time going around in as much detail as you want, can't you? Yeah, but that's just a really quick way of quilting. And like you say, it just gives a, just brings it out a little bit more. But if you're, if you're not confident doing that, a blanket stitch, zigzag stitch, or a straight stitch works just fine. Fabulous. So should we change the colour? Absolutely. You're going to dip into our early bird, aren't I you? I am. I've got the green. Have you got one? Um, that bright green, honestly, just goes so well with all of your tulip pinks, whether it be the handmade range, whether it be the, uh, the, the range, the true colours range that Daphne's working with. Or in fact, for loads of your stash, the range of blues and greens that you get in today's early bird is brilliant. It's been very, very popular today. £12.99, as is everything. It's been busy, busy, busy. Busy morning. So is this going to be for the, are you going to keep with the free motion for the rest of the quilting? I think so, yeah. Again, if you're not if you're not a free motion fan, because I don't want you to be, think you've got to free motion it. In fact, somebody um, who, did, who did the pattern from last time, actually did some echo quilting just with a straight stitch all the way around okay. uh, uh just straight lines or you don't have to quilt it at all it's it's up to you no absolutely i'm just i just want to show you lots of different options yeah good idea i've got uh, just over 10 minutes 10 minutes okay well the unicorn's pretty much cut up so i can show you that in that color way fantastic as long as this does what it's told, which was my fault because I had a little bit of a stray bit of thread in the bobbin, so it was mine. No, it's all good. We're absolutely fine. It's time. It's good to be able to just have a nice chilled hour, isn't it? I say chilled a bit at home. Everyone's like, I'm not chilled at all. I've been trying like Glastonbury tickets to get this kit. So hopefully that's all threaded. Dead. But I'll start in the bottom right hand, bottom left hand corner, just in case it's not. Obviously at home, practice on the stray piece before you go straight on to your quilting projects first. Are you going to work? I think so, yeah. So is this a bit of a, a meander that you're going to do? Or? Yeah, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'll just, just swirl it around, just move the fabric wherever you want it to take you and just... Uh, there's we, no rules. There's no rules. Oh, I love that. Oh, does it look good? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. That lovely bright lime green is going to look great with the, uh, the colours. Oh, yeah, that looks lovely. So this is really good to just experiment, isn't it? Different threads. What about any of your variegated threads as well? That's going to that look cool. Look lovely, definitely. There's some of the uh, Tula Pink. If you type in Tula Pink on the website, what happens, Kat? Can you see the uh, variegated threads on there? All of the Tula Pink threads and the fabrics will come up if you type in Tula. So definitely have a look at those variegated threads. The Sunrise and the Premium, both of them are available still at the moment. So again, I'm just being quite consistent with my speed, just being brave. You're in control of it. Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm like right by the motor. Like, no, it's all good. I can hear you. So it's like dancing with fabric. Look, there we go. I mean, you're not planning at all a route that you're going? No? No. I just think what looks pretty. And you can overlap pretty. stitches? You can do. Uh, I'm trying not, try to. not to. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to overlap the stitches, but it, again, it doesn't matter. You 
Oh, that does look nice in the green. I don't know whether you can see it at home yet, but it does look lovely. It does. It's really lovely. It's a lovely colour. Green's my favourite colour. I love green. Do you know a lot of people? It's either one of those colours that a lot of people either really love or just don't. Are not green people at all. A, Whereas I'm definitely yeah. a green person. I love green. It's a calming colour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, that's where the term the green room came from. Do you know oh, that? Is so it? You know when you go to here in the studio yeah. we've got a green room but apparently it's the mo it's the colour that neutralises the the eyes so neutralise it know yeah. that. do you not know that Paula no. you've worked in telly for how long just that if it's a green room the green room it's they're not necessarily always green but they traditionally were all painted in green to the green the green colour neutralises the eyes and makes you calmer yeah, yeah just Having a, just repositioning. I suppose you haven't painted everything green to try and calm you, Paul. <laughs> Got a message from Liz. Morning, Liz. Hi, Delphine. Hi. Hi Hello, Liz. I love, love, love the Highland cow in all the variations that I've seen. As a child, I was given a handmade Highland cow. Aww. So it was either my mum or grandma. He was lovely. She said, I called him Angus. There you go. Oh, Why don't we call this go. Angus? That's a, that's a good name for him. She says she loves your designs. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. I love designing. I was going to say, we've definitely got to get in all of our requests to Delphine of the next ones in the series. Yeah. We're thinking a peacock and a pheasant. What else could we do? I'd like to do like a... Um, oh. Anything with lots of feathers on would look really nice. Anything with lots of feathers. Nice. We've got lots of ideas. Lots of ideas in the gallery. I'll See, uh, look at how quick, actually. I know that you are a whiz at free motion, but it doesn't actually take as long as when you see this. It looks like there's so many stitches. It's actually... This, um, really quick. this machine is particularly quick. I think it does like a thousand and... Look how effortless. ...stitches a minute. Yeah. It's effortless, this machine. Just does it all for you, look. You sure I can't take it home with you? <laughs> thousand feet, uh, a thousand stitches per minute. Wow. Um, I'm sure I won't say anything if it goes if it goes missing. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. We're coming to the end now. We've got five minutes, Delphine. Okay. No problem. That's so quick today, hasn't it? there now. Make sure you've got a full bobbin when you're doing this. I was going to say, well. I, I bet you need to potentially change the thread of bobbin, but do you want to try and do this all in one in clean one. sweep? Yeah, because you don't want to have that start and stop. Again, it's no biggie. You just start with the um, where you finish with the needle down position. Yeah. If you do run out of bobbin and thread. So, nearly there. And she's done. Done. Oh my word, that looks that amazing. That looks lovely with the green. I absolutely love <gasps> what that. What do you think? Love, love, love that. And then I'll just put a strip on. Um, I would uh, so cut a little strip to do the border. Sorry, all okay. I did was cut a one and a half inch strip without the white. There's plenty, plenty of white. Sew a little border around it. Do an envelope back. Okay. Uh, very, very simple. And uh, the, just to give it that, uh, like I, uh, the little look, like I've. Um, but done a binding, yeah. you just sew over the top and oh. just sew it all together. Turn it right sides out and then sew around the edges and you've got that little cheat of a border. Ah, easy. There That's great. Good tip. Uh, we've had a question from Rachel. Morning, Rachel. Do you need a particular needle when doing free motion? I've just used my my normal machine. Brilliant. Yeah. If you're doing a lot of machine quilting, make sure you change. You're supposed to change your needle before each project. Okay. Especially if you're going through a lot of layers, make sure it's just nice and sharp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... Unicorn. Now, when I, <laughs> I literally did this back um, just outside. Uh, so we can quickly show as much as we can in the next five minutes, can't we? So I'm just going to lay the pieces out so I won't stick it down. Just want to give you an idea of um, 
In fact, let me just get the ironing board out a little bit because then it can just make it a little bit tidier. So all your pieces are made exactly the same, apart from there's a few things you need to remember to reverse, like the ear and the nostril. Okay, that's all um, in the instructions though, isn't it? It's all in the instructions, yeah. So again, you can lay the face on there. So it's just about all layering it all up. I love these colours, I love this blue. Oh yeah. This is going to look completely different again, isn't it, to the, uh, to the handmade collection, actually, the true colours. So, do you think this is, out of the two, this is the more difficult, small pieces? Uh, no, actually, I don't think either, no? of, and I think they're both the same level. Um, Brilliant, so beginners, go for it. Definitely. So, <gasps> oh, I love it. See, it can just be a horse, couldn't it, without Could a unicorn? Be. There we go. Let me just give it a bit of an iron so it's all flat. I haven't taken the backing off, so um, it's not going to stick on the fabric. Now, I don't know if you can pick it up behind me, but when I, the one thing I did do to finish this was to... Um, I just did a tiny little bit of embroidery for the eye. Oh, the bright yellow, can you see? Yeah, shall I grab it? Oh, thank you. Yes, please. There we are. Oh, so nice. There's a little stick. So I just did a little hand embroidery there for some eyelashes. Oh, they look lovely. So one th a lovely way to quilt this, if I was um, if I had more time. You know the colours of the stick, the threads that we've just been using. Yeah. What I would do is zig, uh, do straight stitches mm -hmm. across one way and then the other, and then hand with just a white thread and use a double thread of that and hand stitch where the crosses are, just a little cross. Oh, yeah. Hand quilt with like, almost like his little stars going oh, around the unicorn. Oh, that would be so lovely. That would look really magical. That would look really cool. So yeah, zigzag, so stitches, maybe about a one and a, one and a half inch in length, straight lines across, straight lines the other way, and then hand stitch uh, in the, these bright colour threads, just little crosses. Oh, that's a really lovely idea. That would look really pretty. We've had a lot of suggestions. What about an alpaca, somebody said? Yeah, that would be, that would be nice. A squirrel? A squirrel, a squirrel, big tail. Yes, yeah. absolutely. A curly-haired sheep? Yeah, sheep. Good uh, idea. What, like a... Oh, yes. The one with the... Um, like a ram. Yeah, a ram. A ram. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Have I seen an Indian squirrel? No, go on. Are they purple? Oh, nice. A purple squirrel? If you want to make eight, please. Oh, if somebody, who's that, sorry? I thought someone, I thought someone was asking for a collection of eight different animals. No, who's that, sorry? Hi, Morag. Morag said, I want to make a collection of eight of them. Yes. Shall I buy jelly rolls, charm packs, or buy the half metre? What, of each fabric? It depends how much uh, variety you want. Yeah, I think so if you bought I'd, a few of these... I'd, I'd go for the jelly roll. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Value for money instead of buying half metres of each. Yeah, and it's all done for... Variety. Again, it's what we were saying earlier, it's all done for you then, isn't yeah. it? You haven't got to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you so, so much. No I mean, problem. Brilliant. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention? Oh, I don't think no, so. No, all good. No. Covered everything then. Yeah. Um, Thank you so much. No As always, we love you. When are you back oh, in? I'm back in on Friday. Oh, of course. Yes. Brilliant. Block of the week. Yes. Exciting. Yes. I'll see you Friday morning. Um, you're just doing the one hour, actually, in fact, are you? Yes. You're here yes. with another just project the one hour Friday. The, uh, block yeah. of the week. Brilliant. Uh -huh. Look forward to it. Thank you so, so thank, much. Thank you for having me. Um, what a, an amazing day we've had. If you do want to check out on the, the Tula Pink design rolls or just type in Tula Pink or have a look through the charm packs that we've got on the website because they're all going to be perfect for these collections there's the the design role uh, you can free motion on the 550 absolutely yes you can drop the feed dogs on it i don't know whether it comes with a free motion embroidery foot i think it's one that you might need to add a free motion foot to it you can buy these upgrades which is good to know because sometimes when you're buying a more affordable machine um if it you can buy the walking foot that goes with this one you can buy the the free motion as far as i'm aware cat's just having a check for us uh, to see but I don't think that no it doesn't come with a free motion foot you could do sort of similar uh, techniques though and um, you can actually get one as an addition to this machine so if you were thinking about it don't let that be the deal breaker it's a category B slash C machine if you do want to buy one okay um, 
well done to everybody who got something today. It's been absolutely manic. It's been really, really busy. We've got a brilliant show again tomorrow. Do you know who's in the studio who I've not seen for months? I am so excited to see the gorgeous Jane Greenoff. We've waited for so long to see Jane. She's back. She is our cross stitch queen. She was the founder of the, the Cross Stitch Guild. And she is here with some brilliant, brilliant kits that I've never seen before. We always get the best stories and lovely kits from Jane. She's hilarious. She's just such good fun. So she's going to be with me at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock we're starting the day as always with a brilliant early bird special and sewing room tools at eight and at 10 o'clock Kat's put together some bundles which she's very very proud of one's called sunrise what was the other one bursting sunrise and she did it like this bursting sunrise and then evening sky and she literally did that she says i've done these bundles bursting sunset evening sky i said do you realize that you just did this I don't even think you realise that you did it, but she did all the hand gestures. So she's very excited about those stash builders. Um, a bird of paradise and a moose, please. Okay. We've got loads of suggestions coming in. And we're also going to definitely do the, um, like the Bake Off style. You and Kerry, yeah. head to head. Bring it. I'm not competitive at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just using the military and the, yeah. Yeah, being, yeah, military, please. No, I'm not competitive. <laughs> My husband's got his head in his hands right now. Oh, no. <laughs> what have we started? What have we started? We've decided we're going to call it Ready, Steady, So. Ready for it. Hi, Glennis. Oh, Glennis is very tempted by the 680. Have a bit of a read into it. Have a look at all of the features that come with it. Do your research because it's a brilliant machine. You'll love it. Uh, thank you so, so much for your company today. It's been a pleasure as always. I am back with you tomorrow. We've got another brilliant show. So do make sure you join me live from 8 o'clock. It's going to be amazing. And this is another hour of the replay to enjoy from yesterday's show of some more brilliant fabrics before we uh, hand over to Jewelry Maker. But we'll see you in the morning tomorrow at 8 o'clock. See you then.